-hmm. I just want to be able to see what people say in the chat. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey guys. Um, welcome to uh, Biggie Small's Adventuring Company. Uh, we are a uh, we're fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons actual play uh, podcast. I think. Uh, we're we're doing this thing on Twitch. We're putting it on YouTube. We're doing the thing together doing with the, the dice. My name's Jordan. I am maybe thirty bats. I am your streaming host. We are being DM'd by our very wonderful friend Ashley. Ashley, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello. Um, I'm Ashley. I've been playing D and D for about a year now. Close to that. Uh, well, actually, it might be less than that. Either way. Um, I've been playing for a little while. Um, this is my first campaign that I'm DMing, but I bullied all my friends into playing with me. <laughs> That's more or less how it worked. Um, yeah, I was like, you're playing this campaign with me, and everybody <laughs> said, okay. All right, cool. Uh, let's move on with some more introductions. Uh, Jamie, what, who are you? What are you playing? What's going on? Okay, so I'm Jamie. I play Arizer Wynn. She is a... Um, a half elf rogue um, and a criminal. Um, yeah, it's pretty much what she is. Nice. <laughs> Lynn Perry! And the essence of her character. She's pretty fantastic. That's valid. We love her. Um, so let's see. Uh, Lindsay, want to introduce yourself and your character? I'm Lindsay. Um, I play Foxina. She is a half-elf ranger. Very cool. Um, Alicia. Hello. Hello. Um, so I play Daphina, and she's a gnome druid. Overly optimistic, far too trusting. We who? <laughs> Which is proved by the fact that she hangs out with my character. Uh, Link Ableton, a half elf, uh, sorry, not a half elf, a halfling, uh, stout halfling paladin. Close? Close ish. Um, yeah. Um, and then usually we have one more player, um, my friend and partner Jay. Um, they play Bodicea, our Goliath monk, but they are having a pretty rough time lately. Um, just this past week, so they decided to take tonight off, which is totally fine. They should be back next week if we play next week. I don't know if we're playing next week. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see if we all die or not. <laughs> or if I'm yeah. just a little too oh busy yeah, yeah. on Monday. We might sure. play Tuesday next week. Uh... Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, did everybody else finish rolling for initiative? Because I only have Link and Raz on my list. Yeah. yeah, I got a 10. A 10? Yep. Yeah. Solid. By the way, if you're curious about any of our uh, our characters, uh, check the D&D &D Beyond overlay. We've got our character sheets up there. You can see Why who we are, what we're playing. My TV just had a fucking cow. Uh, uh, I need that to not happen because I can't see anything on my TV now. Why did my TV turn off? Why did my TV turn off? We're having some minor technical difficulties, so bear with us. <laughs> Hold on, my TV turned off and I need that monitor. My fault. Why are we not having technical difficulties? I mean, we're fine. fairly constantly having technical difficulties. <laughs> wow. That was interesting. Huh. It's because my TV unmuted itself when I um, turned it back on. Back on. Wasn't that special? Um, okay, and then Jay is not in this list, which is fine. That hurts my heart just a little bit that Jay's not here tonight. We all miss Jay. Yeah. But you know what? Next time. They just need some time. Yeah, they need some time. We'll have them here next time. It'll be good. <laughs> okay, so. For everybody that's just coming in, um, we are playing um, Waterdeep Dragon Heist. That's the campaign we're running. Mm -hmm. um, because as a new DM, it was probably best for me to run a written module. And we have three brand new players that have never played before. And then we have somebody who hasn't played in a while. And then we have somebody that plays every single week. 
Hi. Um, I'm a big dork and have been for many years. Jordan <laughs> runs um, our, our Friday night, our Friday campaign. He's our DM for our Friday campaign. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we just finished chapter one. So the characters got to do a little adventuring, got to do a little combat, got to find some secrets and make a shit ton of money that they probably shouldn't have made. Hey, um, it's not my fault that Link is charismatic. It is my fault. I love it. That's a lot of money. <laughs> um, y'all have a lot of money. Um, and then you also have a, they also, the party also inherited Troll Skull Manor, which is a tavern and a manor house that they're fixing up. And they also got to explore their town or like their the area, the neighborhood. Um, and have started to explore water deep a little bit. Um, y the party has accepted two faction missions as of last um, session. The Emerald Enclave contacted Daffy and Fox to send them on a mission where Raz was approached by the Harpers. Um, and after you accepted your missions and you did all the things um the party went back to the siren song tavern and inn in the trade ward and almost got kicked out by the owner because daffy decided got dared to um got dared to swim in a cask of wine <laughs> and the owner cleona was not happy but did we die instigated <laughs> that dare Still might all of us. <laughs> I think I think we did all instigate that dare. Everybody was like, "Hey, do it!" <laughs> so, I mean, come on. Um. So now you guys are. If everybody's ready, we'll get started with this week. Fantastic. We have friends. So. It's just us. <laughs> it's just us. Who's a long vehicle? I don't know who the long vehicle is. Probably another member of my bot army. <laughs> a long vehicle. <laughs> we love the bot army. We do love the bot army. The bot army has brought me much joy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I don't know that I really need this at all this week. I think I just need to print out stuff, but... We'll see what happens. We'll keep this just to be safe. Um, so... Y'all are going to... Isengard. Yes. We're going to Isengard. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard. wizard. Very different books. Those are very different books. I'm aware. <laughs> I know you are. Um, that's, that's, I was, it was more my disgust than any informational purpose. Did you say your disgust? Yes. Why? Putting those two together? Come on. Why not? That's gross. You're gross. It's illegal. It should be illegal. And I'm sober now, guys, and this is how cracked out I am. You yeah. seen me earlier. Cheeseburgers fix a lot of things. She has some great burgers. She does have great burgers. <laughs> Chi, if you're watching this, my man, your burgers are fantastic. Anyway, y'all are waking up. Um, we're going to get started. So, um, after your debacle in the tap room at wow. Cleona's, um, you guys are headed to, um, you guys all wake up in your rooms and you go through your regular morning routines. Um, we'll start with Link and his crazy morning routine. He brushes his hair a hundred strokes to each side. He makes sure that he puts on not too much moisturizer. He's not making that mistake again. And he looks sweaty all day, you know? Like, it's not a good look. Not a good look, guys. <laughs> and he, uh, after that, he, he makes sure that everything really is in place. He combs his hair one last time, takes a deep breath, says, Right, they're just people. They probably don't even remember what you said yesterday. They're just people. They're friends. They know you. 
oh god, I'm gonna die. And he, and he walks out the door. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You're going to die. It's wonderful. <laughs> so I'm rolling up a new character. Is, uh... <laughs> so, so here's my new character after he uh, ran away because he got shit on. It was me. Oh, thanks, Ash. I really appreciate the follow. <laughs> <laughs> Nepotism, making the world run. Get you some. I like the zombie, though. I kind of, I kind of love the yeah. zombie. Uh, this stream brought to you by nepotism. Nepotism. Keep it in the family. What? <laughs> no, nepotism is. I know. Oh my gosh. Okay. You mean Jared? No, that's so, that's a very different thing. <laughs> I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> so if anybody wants to come here and like just hang me. Like, <laughs> All right. Where are we? I don't think that's the only family hold yet. No, no, it will not. <laughs> Um, um, okay, so Link, um, did his crazy shit, brushed his hair, got his moisturizer, got dressed. Like, crazy things, you know, like self-care. 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 Grooming. Self-care in Waterdeep. Um, Lindsay, tell me what Fox is doing this morning. She is having a shower or a bath or whatever, and she is... Doing her hair, as usual, and then going down to get breakfast. 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 All right. Alicia! Hello. My love! What is Daffy doing this morning? I'm pretty sure Daffy's waking up rather flustered. She's probably going to have to drink some nice herbal tea to calm down. Herbal tea! <laughs> Not even breakfast, just herbal tea. All by herself in her room. Nice and chill. Oh, Fine. Not even to everyone for breakfast? Yikes. <laughs> There's a, so you hear Link saying to Bodice says, as Bodie's about to leave. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it was that embarrassing, but she won't even look us in the eye. And anyway, I, I suppose you'll have fun training, was it? <laughs> and Bodie, Bodie's just like, Yep, going to go back to that bank. I gotta make some more money. For for background purposes, Court International Bank is a, is a combination banking and fighters guild, specializing in wrestling. It, it's it's WWE. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the bank of WWE. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bodie's gonna go like tell Daffy bye because that's that's their backpack. Backpack, 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 backpack. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Um, oh, hey, Nirnath. Oh, nice. Glad to have you here. Um, so Bodhi's gonna go, gonna tell everybody bye, but mostly Daffy, and then just head back to the bank for the day. Um, what is Raz doing this morning while everybody is getting ready and uh, drinking their tea and abandoning the party for the day? Raz just goes about her normal business, showers, gets cleaned up. She decides to leave her hair down today and just kind of do a couple braids on the side around the back to keep it out of her face. But um, other than that, she's business as usual and goes downstairs to have breakfast with everyone. Hoping that the woman from last night is not around because yeah. she would rather not get into a fight yeah. over an unsolicited, unsolicited kiss. <laughs> I got smacked. Rise over here at this table. <laughs> <laughs> We've got crepes. We've got crepes. <laughs> I saved you the strawberries. Thanks. Oh my god. I appreciate it, buddy. Anything for you. Don't worry, she's gone. I was just fucking with you. I just. <laughs> So while you guys are having breakfast, um, Cleona brings over drinks for everybody. Um, <laughs> Morning, Cleona. <laughs> Cleona won't even like, she's just so done. And she just kind of looks at you guys 
and kind of starts to say something and then just shakes her head and puts the mugs down and then walks away. So you see in the mugs that there, it's like a dark amber liquid that's like just filled with um, like maroon swirls. Almost like when you try to mix like iridescent pigment into oil, that same swirl. Sure. You don't know what that is. No, not, not a clue. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and it smells absolutely delicious. Oh, this is either really, this is either really good or really bad. Let's find out! Just Cody's not here to take a chance, so... Here we go. For Um, And it tastes like, the, the drink tastes like champagne. In like the best way. Oh. Right. I think you got a winner here, Cleona. Make a con save. Sure. <laughs> Anyone who drank, make a con save. Oh, this is going to be great, guys. This is going to be fantastic. Um, for you, my friend, that is a four. A four? <laughs> okay. Okay. Three? Oh! <laughs> we are going to, yeah. we are wrecked. So a four, a three, Wait, yeah, a nine, know. and a what? An 18? Wait, what, what, um, what modifier? Con save. It's so, a con save. So it's up in the, the left corner. Top, uh, oh, top plus left two. Okay. So five. So at least I'm a five. <laughs> so a five, <laughs> a four, a nine, and an 18? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. I, I don't... What did we do? To, uh, was it really that bad? So you guys, I don't... everyone just like... Daffy gets it the, the easiest, but everyone just starts coughing. Oh, like, no. just this awful coughing. Just dying. you put in that? I don't. He got. What? And she's just, Cleona's just kind of like smirking to herself and brings over water for everybody, but she's <sighs> amused. You magnificent bastard! <laughs> Cleona just kind of looks at everybody and goes, That's what you get for ruining a cask of wine! Yep. <laughs> you magnificent <laughs> bastard! I'll take another one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she'd give you another one. He's gonna take one. All right. Make con save. That is a three. You have another coughing fit, just as bad as the last one. Be <laughs> ready. <laughs> Link goes to the washroom. <laughs> Cough so hard he vomits. And uh, when he when he gets in there, it's just like, have you ever squeezed a dog too hard? <laughs> Yeah, it's like that, but wet. Did you say but wet? Yeah. <laughs> My man has no crepes left. No crepes left. <laughs> Hi, Nadia. Nadia's over here laughing at you. Wipes his, he wipes his, in the corner of his mouth, just, right, well. <laughs> I need some water. Um, some water. Any, anyone, water. Cleona had set mugs of water down for everybody on the table. I don't yeah. trust it. Um, Wait, it's, it's water. water. It's water. Right, sure, sure, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he takes a sip. It's just water. And it's just water. It's just water. I understand my trepidations. Cleona's just smirking. You're tough but fair. <laughs> Can't hurt me anymore. There's nothing left in there. <laughs> she just kind of raises an eyebrow and goes, You sure about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Eddie grabs a plate of crepes. <laughs> More crepes. Taste More crepes. the same coming up as they did going down. They were delicious both times. <laughs> you make me throw up, I make you throw up. That's the rules. Oh, I see. Mm. 
back, Daddy in chief. <laughs> so, what's the plan for today? Well, we have to sort out that scarecrow problem. Right. And while we're doing that, let's keep an eye out for that, uh... Is it talking horse? I is Maxine. Maxine wasn't her name. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh. <laughs> um while our dear I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack just a minute. While our dear Link was vomiting, he hears a message. Oh I am Va Vajra Safar. You're the who? Blackstaff. Come to Blackstaff Tower in the castle ward at once. The what? Bring your friend. Oh, shite. <laughs> and that's all, that's all that's said. Uh, so he sits back down and through a mouthful of crepes, he goes, Oh, I just forgot, Hank. <laughs> no. I am... Um, how urgent is that, uh... Scarecrow thing? What'd you say? It sounded kind of shitty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that. We probably need to deal with that. Right, but can we deal with it like this afternoon? I've received a message. Of a sort of magical sort. How so? You ever hear of the Blackstaff? <clears throat> Yeah, she wants to see us. All of us? That's us? what she said. Why us? I don't fucking know. We'd best go, though. Who fucking knows? <laughs> she wants to kill us all. Who knows? Look, all I know is when a wizard of her caliber says go, you go. Wait, can we eat first? <laughs> I mean, probably. We can't do nothing on an empty stomach. That's a fine point. You make a fine point, Raz. Thank you. Yeah. Hand me that bacon. No, that's mine. So, fine, hand me that bacon. That's mine too. Fuck, girl. Here, I have mine. Give me some bacon. Um. So after you, sorry, I was being dry everything. Um, so after you finish breakfast, Cleona gives you all drinks to go, because she's a good nugget. She ate a good noodle. She is. Good drinks? I don't know. That's <laughs> Hold yeah, on. I, let's find out. I really love the idea that we're all basically wandering around half lit all the time. Yeah. Like <laughs> all the time. It's how you do business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So she gives you basically what would be considered to go cups <laughs> of a deep blue liquid with red swirls and a grape that's floating in it. What's this frozen? The drink smells somewhat like coffee, hmm. but it tastes like grapes. I'm gonna just take a sip of it. Oh, it's decorative for the flavor. I see. Clever. <laughs> the only issue with this drink is that it can be smelled on your breath for several hours. It smells like what? Grapes. Grapes? Or it smells like coffee, but it tastes like grapes. Most people find coffee ex uh, quite, a, quite a nice scent. I think I'll stick with it. Nothing bad. She wasn't going to try to kill you this time. Sure, sure. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Yeah. Who knows what her plan is in the long run. Oh, uh, man. So your plan is to go to meet the Black Staff. In her tower, right? In her tower. Wait, no, was this the message that was that we tried to get to Bodhi? Yes. Last night? Yes. Last night? Yeah, you're going to Blackstaff Tower in the castle ward. 
Right, to the castle ward. Give me. Give me. For anybody watching, that is the purple ward there, the castle ward. And it's on the west side. Yeah. So, just... somewhere right in here. Um, so you walk through the castle ward, um, and you come across, you come upon Blackstaff Tower. Blackstaff Tower is a fortress and a wizard training academy all in one. Um, everyone make a history check. Uh, Link, do it with advantage since you are from, okay. um, from Waterdeep. Yeah. Yeah, Link is a Waterdavian noble. He should know um, everything about this fucking city. I mean... He should, but he's kind of a weirdo. Have 13. 19. 18. 13, 19, 18. And a 10? 10. Yep. yep. Okay, so... <clears throat> Bork! He go Bork! He knows something. <laughs> what do you What do you know? <laughs> Who has feet with animals? <laughs> um... <laughs> I should use that joke when I'm at home and the dogs start freaking out. Totally should. <laughs> um, no, so Daffy, I mean, you know a little bit about Blackstaff Tower. Um, you know that it's like where they send all the wizards to train and that kind of stuff, but you don't really know a ton. Um, Raz had a 13, correct? Raz would know a little bit more. Um, you'd know that that's where the black staff like watches over the city. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> you open that and it just smelled so good. For anyone wondering, opening that was a gigantic bowl of black bean salsa. Like the best black bean corn salsa. No cap. Um, now Fox and Link would both know that Vajra is a, I had to look at this earlier and now I have to find it again. Where is my darling, darling friend? Um, she is a wizard um, who is the, she's in her like mid thirties, um, but she's the youngest person ever to hold the position of Blackstaff. Um, Black, the Blackstaff is basically the High Wizard of Waterdeep. She's absolutely prodigious. You should see some of the things she's done. I can't begin to understand it. She's in charge of defending the entire city against threats. Um, she isn't the city's most powerful wiz like wizard, but um, she can still kick your ass. In a heartbeat. I mean, really, the Black Staff from which they take the name of the office. That's the impressive thing. That thing's a relic. Yeah. Um, so as you walk in, you are greeted um, by a halfling monk who is going to just kind of, he's going to know exactly who you are before you ever like walk in the doors. And he's not even going to speak to you. He just kind of like waves like, follow me, and then leads you through um, Blackstaff Tower to meet with um, Vajra. You walk into a room, and she's about like 5'7 or 5'8. Um, Blow them! <laughs> and she's like skinny and like She's hot. She's hot bitch. She's hot bitch. Um, she's got really dark skin, and her hair is like shoulder length, and it's like really, really tight ringlets. And she just like radiates power. She looks like she could kick your ass. Hey. Um, you called. Um, she turns and just kind of smiles and nods. Um, and I was like, oh yes, I tried to talk to your friend earlier today, or yesterday, but no one ever responded. Which one? The, the big one. 
Oh, you see, we're just the smalls. <laughs> she, she just kind of pauses and then does, decides not to even ask. Link Ableton, Biggie Smalls Adventuring Company. That kind of gives her pause. And then she looks at you and goes, oh, I know who you are, Ableton. Ableton. Right. But do you know who they are? They're fantastic. Really wonderful folks. She she kind of pauses and then names each of you. Um, but she does Raz doesn't... grows visibly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> she, she just kind of smiles and is like, it's my job to know everyone in my city. Careful, you may not want to say that near the open lord. She... Madam Silverhand gets a bite jealous. <laughs> she just kind of looks at looks at you and is like, "Okay, and like, is that so small to me?" Oh, just conversation. And so she just kind of shakes her head and then looks, um, just kind of looks back at her map, um, and you can tell it's like a really like detailed map of the entire city of Waterdeep and the surrounding areas. Um, and she tells you that, she says, um, I have a task for you, if you're interested. It depends on the task. Um, she, she says, Seek out Plum, a monk who lives in a cave on the side of Mount Waterby. Ask him what he's heard about threats to the city, but try not to annoy him or overstay your welcome. In exchange for your help, you, I invite you to become members of the Grey Hand. The Grey Hand? The Grey Hand! Do we really look like police to you? She she kind of just smiles a little bit. And um, just kind of like looks at you, looks at Link and is like, no, but you look like someone loyal to Waterdeep. Right, fair. He takes a sip of his drink. <laughs> What do you think? We we'll talk to an old man on the mountain? Yeah. There's no harm in it. There. <sighs> yeah, why not? I'd prefer we had had Bodiceo with us, but hmm. yeah, monk to monk might be better. So maybe we should get Ooh. back to the scarecrow. Right. We do have other tasks. <laughs> Madam Blackstaff, we. She just kind of paused and then nod and tell and reply with, "It's not urgent. I can wait." All right, all right, then. But not forever. No, oh, sir. Certainly not. Um. This this fella is friendly, right? <laughs> She just kind of laughs and is like, right. <laughs> and just kind of laughs and is like, well, for a monk who lives in the side of a mountain like a hermit, he's as nice as he can be. Hey, he would get along with Bodhi. You're right. <laughs> I, I think you're right, Raz. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. You good? My hip. Stop it. And my cat, like my thighs are cramping up. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oof. Okay. Um. Vajra's just like kind of meh. I mean, like she's just kind of done. Um. She gave you what she, she asked. Like she asked you what she needed to ask you, and you agreed. And she's not like rushing you on it. Um. But she is a little concerned about like protecting her city, and you can tell as she's like looking over her map and writing things on it every now, like, and circling certain things and all that, so. 
Mind if we ask, what's the project? What's the project? She just kind of like smiles a little, like almost like sneakily and is like, if you do this mission, I'll tell you. That sounds interesting. <laughs> well. Because she's not like visibly hiding things from you because she knows you can't really like read all of her. I can read. That's Bodhi. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, she knows you can like, you can't really read all of her like weird cryptic notes and like understand what they mean in relation to her map. So Can I make an investigation check to try? Um... You can try! Go for it. While he's rolling, is there anything I would notice with a 15 <laughs> passive perception? Um, not really. Okay. That's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be one big sweet four. <laughs> you don't know shit! <laughs> what? Okay, hang on a second. You and I were working so well together last week. <laughs> do you want, do you want to do dice? <laughs> I have, I have a whole. I gave you two sets. Hang on. <laughs> You're up. I need to move because holy fuck, my. You're calves. going to jail. My calves are cramping up, or my thighs. Um, these are not my calves. Oh, do you want us to go to a be right back screen for a second? No, it's fine. Okay. Oh. Just sit on the couch. That requires so much more effort. You can take a two second break. No. Well. Okay, fine, because I can't do this. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be right back as we oh. find some uh, workable seating positions. Uh, please hang out with us. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I can't lay down and DM. That's not how this works. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for bearing with us through all of that nonsense. We had to had to fix a few technical problems while we were rearranging some stuff. Uh, but now, look at us. Now we look so much better. Look at us all here and audible and uh, all that fun stuff. We're glad you're with us. We're glad to be here. It's a good night. All right. So... You're headed to get the, you're going to the, the farms first? What are you doing first? I believe that's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, I think we need to take care of that scarecrow. Save the people and their crops. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Remind us again what exactly is happening. So, I am pulling up the... Sorry, I'm grabbing it, the paperwork, because I it moved and went in the wrong spot. I moved things. That's my fault. You're good. There it is. Aha! Okay. So, when you went to... Um, Bokonomir to join the Emerald Enclave, Daffy and Fox. You met with um, Melanor Fellbranch. Um, he's the one that sent the cat to meet you guys at the bar. Meow. Um, and what he told you was outlying farms are being terrorized by a scarecrow come to life. It has slaughtered livestock, chased horses, and spooked farmers. A scarecrow. No people have been killed as yet, so the city guard is dra dragging its heels. Something must be done. 
All right, that sounds safe. Can you say a cat told you this? A cat? Yeah. Well, the cat told us to go to the Emerald Enclave. And oh! Then, then uh, Melanor told us the mission. Yes. Great. That makes a great deal more sense. Yeah. Well, y'all yeah, were off at that show. Yeah, yeah, the opera. What, what you call it? Yeah. yeah. All right, the fall of Tiamat. That was a, that was a beautiful show. I couldn't understand a word of it, but it was. Uh, great. Don't worry, don't worry. N neither could Bodhisaya. <laughs> <laughs> you know they give you like a book with all of the things in it, called a libretto. Yeah, but Bodhi was trying so hard. They were. I wanted to listen. Bodhi was trying hard. Bodhi tries hard at a lot of things. <laughs> All I can hear in my head is Jay going, hey, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you're not wrong, but you know. So, the, another thing that Melanor told you while you were at Fulconomir is that the last report came from the Stoutfellow Farm. And they're trusting you to handle it and get rid of this scarecrow. Just so you're aware. So, Stoutfellow Farm. Yep. Yep. Anybody know what that is? Um, an undercliff? Undercliff? Yep. yep. Right. Well, that seems like fun. Where is that? I don't hang out in that neighborhood much. So, <laughs> wait, wait, what neighborhood do you hang out in? <laughs> the good ones? Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead and make, everybody go ahead and make a history check. Link with advantage. Oh. Is that my history? Oh, it's plus one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, advantage. Saving my heart and soul. Um, one. <laughs> a big old three. <laughs> a big old nat one, a big old three. That's going to be a 16 no, not for Link. A nat one, I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, with, like with a negative? <laughs> so you got a five. Somebody got a three. Eight. What did Daffy get? Thirteen. Thirteen, and you got a sixteen? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, okay, so while uh, Jamie and Fox don't really know anything, um, and even Daffy's like, eh, kind of know that it's out that direction, it's where all the farmers are, but like, <laughs> eh, nothing crazy. Link, our dear friend Link, who knows everything there is to know about the city, even he doesn't know everything about Undercliff. I can make some stuff up, see if it fits. Um, no. So, Link knows that um, Undercliff is a rural community outside, uh, it's like east of the city. It's out over there somewhere. Um, and it's a rural community that's focused on farming and animal husbandry. The merry animals out there. It's very strange. <laughs> um, just... There's also a very large and well-protected training camp for the city guard. Now, they do train the city guard out there, and I'm not sure quite what they do, but it seems very rigorous. And a prison camp. There's also a prison a, farm. There's also a prison farm. You don't really go there unless you feel like chucking rocks at, at felons. <laughs> um, and two noble families have um, estates there, which you know. Because it's the Amkathra estate. Huh? Okay. Am I wrong? No, I'm... I don't know, you're not wrong. You've got the book. Um, and it's used for the housing and final training of horses. And they train horses out there, the Amkathras. The, that are sold to the city guard. They sell all the horses to the city guard. Fun fact. The city guard, it's great fun to scare them in the middle of the night. And the Hothamer House 
um, has an estate where they conduct business in overland trade beyond the reach of water deeps auditors. Then there's those, uh, what, what were the names? Uh, the Hothmer House. The Hothmer House? Yeah. Then no, there's those Hothmers. I think they're too good for water deep. Got to trade with other people <laughs> in different cities. Bunch of bastards. <laughs> Excuse me. I just choked. Um, I'm just gonna take some animosity there. Right? There is also a. Um... I wouldn't go into business with my father. And that caused a lot of problems at home. <laughs> I uh, <bet>. But um, <laughs> what I'm sure is Link's favorite place is the Snow Beetle Orchard and Meadery because they're affl- the rich, affluent halflings. Who oh who make wine and um yeah they're great and they also have a gift shop out there they're my cousins they let me go out there on dates sometimes hey Daffy he does he does look like directly at Daffy and just be like just just saying <laughs> I just nailed <laughs> go ahead and make a charisma check on that one I would love to make a charisma check on that. Uh, Don't you fuck me. <laughs> that one, boy! Don't say it. It's a 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, would that be a persuasion check? Yeah. Did I say charisma check? I meant persuasion. Yes. Persuasion? That's a 14. <laughs> he just kind of like looks at Daffy and like winks. And not oh. in like a weird, creepy way, but like... He was like, a, hey. He doesn't really wink. <laughs> he like, you know that that bullshit that models do when they like squint with the lower lid of their or eyes. They and... smize. Mm, no, it's... Or they smolder. When they smolder. Yeah, when they, they when they. Yeah, he, he definitely turns on the smolder. <laughs> he does the. You know what he does? He does the look for the rocks look from Jumanji. He just he goes, sort of. <laughs> you can see like he's like, hey, God, I, just, I just I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, Are you coming? Not that I mean anything by it. Um, Hello, Nadia. She's really not into this. <laughs> she's purring and she's like, what's happening? She'll purr at anything, but she doesn't like much. That I much. have her. Um, <laughs> Hello. Just saying. Just saying. <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> while uh, Link is trying to pick up Daffy and I, your, your DM tries to vomit, but is it working though? <laughs> <laughs> I just can see Daffy being like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cause there was the cute person who gave me a flower. <laughs> um, so y'all are gonna go wandering through. Um, you're gonna so as you leave the city and head east. After about an hour after crossing the border, um, you come to the outside of the Stout Fellow Farm. Um, there, like all you can see, like to the east or to the west behind you and around until you get to the to the fence is just huge fields of wildflowers and grass, and it's actually really beautiful. Um, you come to a crossroads um, with like a simple wooden signpost. Right. Um, there's wa- there's an arrow pointing down the road you just came down, which says water deep. Um, one saying of the path to the left that says Stout Fellow Farm, excuse me, and a path to the right saying Snow Beetle Orchard and Meadery. Um, and you can see another farm that's being worked on um, in, in like the way distance. Um, it has thick, like, stone walls surrounding it. So which way are you going? Well, Link, go ahead and take Daff down that way. And we'll head to the farm. <laughs> Rest! It's no fun if you tell us to do it, Raz. Let's not separate, just kidding. Rest! That's what you want to do. No, it's not. I don't, really, I'd rather not split the party. They might think that we're trying to do something to the horses. Ew. Let's just get... <laughs> okay. Okay. Not what it, not at all what anybody meant. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
right? Chi, Chi's with me. Chi! I'm gonna... I'm done. I'm done. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I was right in your ear and I apologize. Yes. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> God. I just got excited to see him. I love him. Um, um, yeah. But you're free to explore any direction, any which way you want to go. Right. But they said the. Well, I suppose we'd better talk to the people who have seen this thing, get a bearing on where it's at. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it's your mission. So that would be to the left? I suppose. Yeah, so the Stoutfellow Farm is a path to the left, and then there's a path to the right that leads to the Snow Beetle Orchard and Meadery. And then in behind the farm, probably um, like 600 yards back, um, you see another like farm that's surrounded by like high stone walls. I don't want to check out that new Let's go to the stealth first. I guess. I mean, that's what it was last seen. seen. And we can't really act without, you know, knowing what we're acting on. Yeah, let's go to the farm. You just seem reluctant. Because I kind of want to check out this shady place because uh, a scarecrow that came to life seems kind of shady. I don't think people are just going to give us answers if we go right up to them and ask. I feel like we got to check out the creepy poorly places. You make a fine point. How about we do that after? I don't know. I don't know, Raz. You're, you're making sense. <clears throat> well, I would hope so. <laughs> Daffy, what do you think? I think we should probably start at the point of origin. Well, so all you know, um, as of right now, is that the Stout Fellows were the last people to report seeing it. You don't know who else has seen it or anything else. That's all I'm going to say. So let's go talk to the Stout Fellows then. Raz is just like, okay. okay. <laughs> hold up. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> make make opposing persuasion checks. Oh, I mean, it sounds like we've sort of made the decision, right? Like, like a banter here. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you guys if you're all gonna just gonna go there or you want to like and argue about. Half it. The party wants to do one thing and half wants to do the other, so let's just battle it out with the dice. All right. Right. <laughs> Okay, so Jamie, go ahead and make a persuasion check, and then Daph, go ahead and make one. Okay, 10 plus 13. 10. 10. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to go to the creepy farm in the back? Yeah. Right. Creepy farm it is. Well, it's not creepy. It's just surrounded by um, balls. Okay. So as you walk up, um, you walk through the grass, um, and Link and Daffy can't really see very much over the grass. Let's be real here. <laughs> Hang on. What's going on? What's going on? You were gonna tell me what's going on. Hang on. How tall is he? Hang on. We're gonna see how tall Link is, because he's, he's three feet tall. You told me this grass is three feet tall. Yes, yeah, it's a, literally a field of grass, and all right. My backyard grass is like up to my tail. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> I mean, fair, I guess. No, that's fine. <laughs> it was like. I knew you guys were short. You're very short. The grass is that tall. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so as you walk up, um, you see that this is a 20 foot high stone wall with harsh metal spikes lining it. And you can see like, as you're walking closer, there's like a constant patrol of guards walking around the outside. 
Um, whose livery do they do they wear? Uh, just the city guard. Oh, don't right. be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> so don't be suspicious. But I'm gonna climb that wall. You're gonna climb the wall. Okay, okay. If if Raz wants to climb the wall, that's fine. Um, what do you mean? What? Is that an acrobatics check? Uh, it's an athletics check. If I do it fancy, is it a <laughs> acrobatics check? No, it's just a straight athletics check. Okay. And you all, okay, so make your athletics check. 16. <clears throat> okay, make a stealth check. Nineteen plus five. I think I hit that one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait till we get um, vid video back. No, no, don't worry about it. We're fine. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you is anybody else gonna climb the wall? No. No. I'm not falling up. <laughs> okay. So just Raz climbed. <laughs> God. I'd rather find a gate. Why did you climb this wall? Um, so if you climb the wall, you can like, you come up on the top and you see over the top of the wall that there is um, like, there are prisoners working down um, like on the farm. So this is the prison farm that Link told you about. Uh. And there are guards, I mean like they're not like f bad prisoners, like mm -hmm. they're here to um, like work off their minor crimes basically. Okay. Um. I had a buddy, his name was Rickard. He'd come down here and throw gold pieces at him. That's just cruel. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. <laughs> um. Can I make an investigation check? What do you want to investigate? <laughs> everything. I want to know everything. No. Um, just to see if there's anything like shady going on other than what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, go ahead. Um, okay, so you can see that, like, on the easternmost point of the farm, um, there's a small stone building, and there's guards going in and out. It looks like what would be, like, the guardhouse. Other than that, there's really, um, nothing that you can see. Alright, so, I'm gonna jump back down. Alright, make an athletics check coming back down. Okay. Thirteen. Is that with your modifier? Yeah. Okay, um, make a stealth check for me. Okay. Uh, uh, at disadvantage. Oh. Sorry. So, so 12. Okay. <laughs> um, so you don't get caught, but as you try to come down the wall, you fall. And you take... Four piercing damage oh. from the spikes that are on the wall. Jeez. You're right. Not Raz. You're right, Raz. I'll, I'll be okay. That looks painful. I just got stabbed in the ass. It's fine. <laughs> One cheek. Maybe don't say that in public. <laughs> so. But, yeah, so it's just the prisoner. And there was just a guard dead. And nothing weird. I guess let's go on your advice and go to the main farm. <laughs> now that my curiosity has been satisfied. <laughs> right, well, All right. I mean, we do have to sort of. Is, is Raz on the other side of the wall? No. No, okay, good. Okay, I was this. very confused. <laughs> no, rather than I was, I was about to say, well, now we've got to break out of prison. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, sorry, I was. I was gonna jump onto the other side. I would have dropped my rope over to you guys anyway, because I have rope in my 
Very kind. Um, oh. Right, well, anyone else curious? Oh, moving around. Oh, Dax is going to whip around. <laughs> We're up to see the wizard. The Link's wizard. gonna like lean over to, to Fox. <laughs> Link's gonna like lean over to Fox and be like, "Kind of wish she was a little bit curious, you know." And he just walks off. <laughs> <laughs> little people, don't go too far. Don't get lost. Hey guys, wait. where's your buddy? <laughs> guys, so we have the Munchkins going to find a scarecrow. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, and we're gonna kill him fast. <laughs> you gotta admit, that was kind of funny. Yeah, but we, we already saw the wizard. Did you? I saw a we wizard. Back. We saw a wizard. Yeah. There are plenty of wizards. Um. So, as you meander down the road towards Stout Fellow Farm, um, Link. Hi. Make a history check for me. Right. That is gonna be like a ten. <laughs> um. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Um. Okay. So you know the Stout Fellows are, um, a family of up and coming halflings. Um. And they've come into a like quick fortune recently. Um. And they hire a new farmhand like once a month. <laughs> once a month? Yeah, like they're hiring a new farmhand like once a month. Um. Is it because they're like they're dying? so busy? No, because they're, they're so busy. Right. Oh, we may have trouble getting to talk to them. Um. Because it is the spring and the summer. It's harvest. It's it's planting time and uh, harvest for some things. But they're hiring folks at a prodigious rate. Yeah. Um, and da da da. Um, you know that they that their own wine has become very popular ever since Zardoz Zord declared it his favorite. Right. I did forget. You know, the wine here is supposed to be fantastic. You know, Zardoz Zord says it's his favorite stuff. You can trust that fellow for miles. So. As you come up on the farm in the spring and the summer, well, it's summer, it's summer. So it's warm, it's kind of comfortable. That is my cup of water, you cannot stick your face in that. Yeah, she doesn't believe in other people's property. <laughs> Everything is mine. Uh. <laughs> A true cat. Um, uh -huh. But you can see halflings running all over the place, like picking grapes and stomping them. <laughs> Look at them, their little legs just going, just brrr. <laughs> they look like you. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to run. Yeah. <laughs> um, just fucking getting it. Just. <laughs> so they're just like running around, <laughs> fucking carrying like these big bushels of grapes. You see a couple of um, halflings in a barrel that like they're obviously like struggling to like keep afloat in, but they're trying to stomp grapes into wine. <laughs> they're just bobbing. They're got, they're like bars. They're just. <laughs> 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 All right. So, what do you want to do? Go ahead and find someone to talk to, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I suppose we'll find someone in the house, then. Uh, you there! Yeah. I know, look. Just because you're taller than me, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm a gnome. <laughs> She's a gnome. She's a gnome. I'm look, a look, see, I'm a halfling, like you. Stop halflings! I'm actually Stop. taller than you. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> oh my god. Is the, that why he likes you so much? Probably. The halfling that you kind of like wave down and are like, well, can you point me in the direction right. of whoever's in charge? He just like is booking it back to like his spot. And Where's the office? <laughs> he tells you. Come in. <laughs> he points you towards the main house. Um, Could have figured that out on my own. <laughs> Who, it, it's just to one of his bosses. And then his boss, in turn, points you to his boss. Right. Good. And has you running all over the farm. Good. Timora, can I make an investigation check to, like, get, to gather appropriate information to actually get us somewhere? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
Okay. That is going to be probably flat 14, but yeah, 14. Yeah. So the the third boss that you're going to that they that points you to somebody new is pointing you towards the um the owners, the stout fellows. Ah, yeah, thanks, Amora. This way. <laughs> <sighs> it's hard to run in all this armor. <laughs> Um, so as you come in, man, can I round? <laughs> oh my god! Um, so you meet um, Mary Stoutfellow. Um, she's a heavy set halfling woman who, like, think Mrs. Weasley, but as a halfling. Aww. Right, Mom. Hate, hate to bother you. Um, Biggie Small's adventuring company. Sounds Biggie. This is Sam's Biggie. <laughs> and and Mary's just, Mary just like turns around and is smiling. She's like got a glass of wine in her hand, and she turns and people love a wine, Mom. Eh, Fox? <laughs> you, do you say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> she's just gonna kind of look at you and be like. I created this blend. Right. Just totally just like... The mother of the wine. <laughs> Are you calling me a wine elf? Are you calling me a wine elf? No. <laughs> a fountain of wine. A veritable source of vino. We're very thankful for your, for your blend. As is Zardo's... Uh, we hear. <laughs> she just kind of like... Just kind of smirks and is like... I know I'm good at what I do. Right. Um, you can tell she's just, like, but she's, like, and she's not being, like, a bitch. She's actually good at what she does. But you do have troubles, do you not? We've heard about the Scarecrow. Yeah, tell us about the Scarecrow. As soon as you mention the Scarecrow, she, like, you can tell it's just been, like, weighing on her. And she just starts begging for your help. Um... She's just like, it doesn't seem to be one of ours. It's coming from the hills, and it's just destroying everything. Um, like, it, it's smashing all of our grapes in the field. We can't use the, like, it's destroying everything. And I've worked so hard to put my husband's farm on the map. Like, this took me years, and now this fucking scarecrow is ruining things. Wait, do you know of anything? over the hills in that direction that could have potentially sent this threat your way? She kind of pauses and then like, well, the snow beetles are over there, but they wouldn't do this to us. Are you sure about that? She, she kind of pauses and then shakes her head and is like, no, there's no way. What makes you say that? There's some sort of history with you, where you trust them especially. Not being impertinent, just saying. Never know what folks might do. She, like, she's just like, why would they do that? We've worked with them for years. And she doesn't understand. Like, she just, she's like, there's no way. Very well, fair enough. What enemies have you, then? Um... She tells you that there's a few, like, families, um, in Waterdeep and, like, on the other, um, and a couple of other, far like, areas that, um, like, wineries that don't, that aren't, that consider them competition. But. Can't imagine they'd have anyone of any real arcane ability to do that sort of thing. She's just not sure. She's just. She's just like, I don't know, but can you please just get rid of this scarecrow? Right. Well, they attack every night. Like, they attack every night. It, we just, we don't know what it's doing. Would you mind pointing us in the direction of the last spot that it attacks? Good point, Ross. Um, And she points Check you out. towards, um, like, one of the areas in the vineyard on the hill. Um... When you get up there, um, you see, um, like, it's obviously been attacked and demolished and just, like, 
the vines are torn up and there's smashed grapes in the ground and everything and it's just awful. It looks like a massacre of, of grape plants. It's just terrible. Can I make an investigation check? Sure, what are you looking for? Anything. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Can, can I take Clues. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna do it too. Okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. Twelve. Raz doesn't know shit. Oh no. Um, so other than, other than what I told you, I mean, you don't really see anything, like, okay. of note. So, like, hmm. Can Matt make a nature check? Sure, what are you looking for? Um, anything that's not natural, like, I don't know, magic or something, like arcana? That'd be more of an arcana be... check, not a okay. nature check. I mean, so, I can, I can try that as well. We'll just, we'll do it. Yeah, make an arcana check. 16. Um, you can tell that something magical has been there, um, but you can't really place, like, where it would come from. This isn't of the natural realm, then. Hmm. Lots of white scarecrow. Well, I mean, imagine not. I mean, normally scarecrows sort of stay on the stick, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Like, do you know anything about scarecrows, man? <laughs> Don't be mean to a child. <laughs> I'm sorry, but man. <laughs> um. oh, it doesn't look like there's much here. Whatever. You know, check out the snow beetles. That, yeah. Uh, orchard it seems reasonable since orchard and in that direction. Mm, yeah. What do you think that they had some petty ass argument and just decided to see over? And they were like, no, no, it's okay. Fine. Let's see some things. I'm happy that, that uh, like stout fellows got the wine accommodation. <laughs> Right. Well, we. I suppose we'd better go talk to them. See, see what their side of the story is. Definitely. Huh. I've done enough running around. Somebody else lead the way. <sighs> Fuck! I need water. And he pulls out his water skin. Uh, no, actually, he's not. He's not finished that other drink yet. So he's just gonna his coffee. His grape gonna, coffee. He's gonna finish his grape coffee. <laughs> it's, it's quite refreshing, you know. As you don't have any more water in your cup. I got some. <laughs> <laughs> there was some. There was some water in there. It was more for visual effect anyway. I'm just not going to talk about it. <laughs> they said it was that way, correct? Yeah. Hey, right, well. We'll have a talk then. Yep, let's go. Okay. Onward. So it takes you about an hour um, to walk from um, the Stoutfellow Farm to the Snow Beetle Orchard and Meadery. Um, the orchard is a lot more upscale than the Stoutfellow Farm. Um, it doubles as a resort and hosts live music festivals in the summer. I've had a great band here before. A fellow by the name of Three Strings, the bard. <laughs> Um, as you walk in, um, as you walk, like, through the main gate, you see signs pointing towards the, um, drinking hall that also has a gift shop. And you can even pick your own grapes for a small fee of four silver. <laughs> that was, I suppose, whether or not it's a deal depends on how many grapes you pick, I suppose. But, sounds like a sort of a cute activity to, to undertake in the summer. As a date. <laughs> With somebody. I don't know. And he moves on. Um, 
the... <laughs> just like mm, mm. Um, completely oblivious to what he's saying. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all part of the plan, part of the charm. Uh, I need a second. I need to use restroom. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're gonna take just a second, guys. Oh my god, I'm dying. Let's all peruse the gift shop. Yes, peruse the gift shop. Uh, Flirt with each other. I don't care what you do. Oh, they've got Christmas ornaments. Oh my god. They also have pins you can buy. I've got pens. Look, a pen. It's got it's got grapes on it. I think no, it's made out not, of grape wood. Pen. Pin. P I N. They've also got these sweet pins. Look, this one says I speak fluent sarcasm. <laughs> Get that for Bodie. Right. They won't be able to read it, which will make it even funnier. <laughs> oh, shit. <no. laughs> Look, I'm not the one who decided Bodhi was illiterate, okay? <laughs> no, no. That actually used to be a thing that in, in 3rd edition and 3.5, barbarians were by default illiterate. No. Like, it's just, it was a requirement. Alright. Started doing a little bit of lighting fixing now that it's getting a little darker around here. Sorry, I got caught in between accents there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Been a rock and a hard place. <laughs> oh man. So how are we doing, chat? While we're uh, while we're on break, any questions you want to ask? Anything you want uh, answered about the party? Um, this pure chaos box. Yeah, like, is there anything about us that's confused you that uh, we reference something that you don't know about, maybe? For one thing, um, during that uh, game of Truth or Dare at the end of last session, um, the way that happened was there was a drink made as a special at, uh, at, our, uh, at the bar that we were hanging out with that basically acted as a short-term truth serum, and... Uh, and yeah, some things were said. Uh, Link said a lot of Link said a lot of things. <laughs> what did that come back to? <laughs> we're explaining the truth or dare game that we had last time. Yeah. Link last said a lot of things. Link tried to hook up with Daffy. He didn't try. He said he wanted to. That's different. Oh, let's not. Talk but, but, a lot of things happened. There was another thing that happened right before they went to bed. Right. And uh, yeah. the last thing that Link said to her was, um, if I'm remembering correctly, you know, what I said was true, but you're more important to me than that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a brick, by chance? Yes. Just because my phone is at, like, 10%. But I would at least like it to be sure. naked, let's not forget that. What? Oh yeah, we all... <laughs> yes. Oh, fox okay. ran around naked. Yeah, we uh, we dared na we dared fox for a for a naked lap around the bar. Cleona was done with you, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah by the time Daph jumped into the barrel of wine, half nude, yeah. <laughs> and that was uh, that was another dare. You want to see the best picture of a dog I've ever seen? Bodhi, oh, Bodhi had to admit their fear, right? Their deepest fear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which her is their mother. Her, her mom. mother. <laughs> yes, their mom. mom. It's Bodhi's <laughs> mom. <laughs> I've seen her do terrible things. <laughs> I hope I hope Jay goes through with her their secondary character being Bodie's mom. I'll yes. die. That'd be so funny. And everything that would be great. And plot yeah. twist: it's not actually like Bodie's mom's not actually a Goliath. Oh, Bodie's no. mom just is just a regular ass human. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people have size. Bodie's cake. is like big ass Goliath. Looking down at her mom like, you scared me. <laughs> okay, but I'm taller than my mom, and my mom scares me. So we're headed to this uh, this other farm. Yeah, sorry. I really had to go to the bathroom. I am so sorry. You good, you good. Um, so you're going to the Snow Beetle Orchery and Meadery. Did I say orchard? Orchery? Orchery, you did. Orchery and meter. <laughs> it's not the orchery. This is D&D. &D. Come on, it's fine. It's the orchery. It's the snow beetle, orchery, and metery. <laughs> We're going to the snow beetle, orchery, and metered. <laughs> okay, um... Good God, what did you put in this? <laughs> <laughs> so as you found your... As you were milling about the um, drinking hall, you... Did anybody want to get a mug of ale? Or a 
or um, a bottle of Snow Beetle Vintage. It only seems oh. fair to sample this. Maybe we'd want something for the tavern. That's true. Once we get it open again. Right. So we flag down, uh, flag down some wait staff or something. Okay, so the drinking hall is staffed by three halflings named Gregor, Velra, and Porum. According to their name tags, Gregor, Velra, and Porum. Uh, Porum! Your name's sufficiently descriptive. <laughs> she's just kind of, she's this like really gorgeous like halfling. And she's just like, what can I get for you? I'd like a flight of all of your varieties. And she, she kind of nods and then looks to the rest of the, the rest of the, the party and is like, and what for you? Does anybody else want anything? A bottle of vintage. So we've got a flight, a bottle. Happy's just gonna stay away from the alcohol for a while. <laughs> Why ever would you do that? Is Fox gonna get anything? I'm not sure with Raz. Okay, so the bottle is gonna be 15 gold. We go on Dutch. And the flight is going to be ten. Ten? Ten gold. Right. Fair. Better be good. Right. Um, what's this then? What, what 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 do we have here? Take me on a tour, Borum. <laughs> yeah, Link's that guy. Oh, at a God. restaurant. <laughs> Porum just Because walks... we play dirty self-inserts. That's totally me at a restaurant. I'm I'm that guy. Oh, God. <laughs> I need to never go out into public with you. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Actually, you can come up to Virginia with me, and we can go. There's a ton of... Um... You know it'd be a great time. There, well, there are a ton of vineyards up there. Mm -hmm. And so, I will do wine tastings. Um, and the, it's ten silver pieces to a gold piece, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So... Um, you guys are, um, so after Porum walks you through your, um, flight. What's there? <laughs> God. What um, so there's a couple of reds, like a cab, a cab salve, and, right, right. um. Pinot Noir? Let's go with that. I don't drink and reds. Hello? I don't drink reds, so I have no fucking clue. I hate reds. It's okay. I hate reds. They're gross. Um, but there's a couple I of reds. I'm a fucking country club. I knew my wine staff. And then hey. there's a couple of different chard. There's like two different kinds of chardonnay. So there's oak barrel and steel bar and steel aged chardonnay. I <laughs> I love me a steel chardonnay. Um, and then there's a riesling, um, a moscato, and a rosé. Is it a flight on a wing? Good God! <laughs> uh, it's just a tasting. It's just a tasting. It's an ounce each. Right. And so uh, we're we're gonna taste these things. Um, how how many wines did you just list? The three reds, two chardonnays, a Ries uh, a riesling, a moscato, and a rosé. That's eight wines. <laughs> oh God! What are you rolling for? You're about to be drunk off his ass, though. Right. The second one is my favorite. Okay, that's right. So, <laughs> that's, um... That'd be a dry Cabernet Sauvignon. The, yeah, let's go with that. I, they, you know, I've never tried these before. I'd love to talk with you, uh, or whomever's in charge of distribution. We may be opening a tavern soon. Could you as a supplier? Um, okay. So... Um, as soon as you like ask to speak to the man, you basically you basically just ask. I want to speak to your manager. Okay, Cameron. Let's say Link walks in with a pixie haircut and <laughs> demands to speak with. Me. Bring me a chair. I want to see who's in charge here. Your supervisor. Uh, uh, this vintage is really good, by the way. Let's talk to them about that too, Link. Right. Good the, point, so, Raz. Good so point, the vintage Raz. that Raz is drinking. I don't remember y'all are over there. Is a and Fox. Oh, and Fox. I'm trying to think of like what year I could make it because I don't even know. Earlier. Earlier. <laughs> it was it was from 14 years ago. 
Yeah. It's a great vintage, wonderful terroir. It's a 14 year old rose. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, fucking yeah. know. An aged, <laughs> an aged rose. An aged rose. I'm just making shit up at this point. It's a magic rose. And it's a magic rose. It can be aged. Yeah, Link just hears aged rose and goes, hmm, gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's a. So it's uh, just it's a pink. Pino, it's pink vinegar. <laughs> it's a, no, it's a it's a Pinot Noir. It's an aged Noir. I got a seventeen on my dice for that flavor. So Raz is quite fond of this fourteen year old. <laughs> 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 it's not actually a fucking rose. But fine, fine. It's a fourteen-year-old fucking rose that's magically aged. It's a fourteen-year-old. It's a twelve-year-old sherry ra- aged <laughs> in rose bottles. <laughs> aged in a rose barrel and uh, and smothered in caramel for, <laughs> for six months for bottling. I'm just trying to come up with the grossest thing I can. Go for it if that's what Raz wants to drink. Apparently it's delicious, so fuck all y'all. <laughs> they set the barrels on fire to release it. They just... Oh my god. It's no, amazing. No, it's the night. No, you know what? Actually, you know what it is. It's the 19 crimes. It's basically the 19 crimes um, rum a, a rum barrel aged um, Cabernet Sauvignon. Actually, not a bad wine. Yeah. I don't even like reds. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what it is. I just like tried to inhale water into my. I've been doing that for years. It never works. <laughs> um, no. So you asked to speak to the manager, fucking Karen. No, I asked to speak to the distributor because I have business to do with them. Um, I'm not demanding that my offense be made right. <laughs> <laughs> um, a halfling woman um is wearing like a pink, like a or a white, like fluffy, like poofy shirt. Comes walking in with like a ton of silver rings on her hands. Um, and she comes up and she introduces herself and goes, Hi! Excuse me, let me see if I can get this. Hi! I'm Blossom Snow Beetle! How can I help you? Good gods! Hi! <laughs> I'm Link Ableton, and this is a Biggie Smalls adventuring company, Sans Biggie. Sans Biggie? Um, We're opening a tavern. We'd love to speak with you about it. Um, and she, I don't know that I can do that voice anymore. Do <laughs> it! You're not having to sit next to it. Hold on, I'll scream. <laughs> hey god, you're out of frame, dude. That's fine, I'm trying not to scream in your ear. <laughs> we'll both be out of frame for this one. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just... Go on then! We'd love to see about... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps... Socks. Perhaps getting a, uh... <laughs> we love to see about perhaps a re- making a distribution arrangement. I assume that, given that the City Watch hasn't shut any of this down, <laughs> that you might be uh, members of the Vintners Guild. Yes, of course we are. Right. <laughs> doing that um yeah i can't do that um so we'd really love to to arrange something with you where whereby we perhaps receive a cask of your uh of your uh second wine on the flight and and of your vintage (laughs) once a month she she just um just nods and is like well i can have something drawn up well, that, that would be wonderful. But what brings you to this area? I haven't seen you before. Well, we had heard of your wines, and I, I do say we, we've, ha- we've heard of some of the troubles in the area, haven't we, folks? Yeah, the Scarecrow. Right, yeah. Scarecrow. We're worried it might hurt our business some if, <laughs> if your, your product is endangered by such a creature. Now, we could be convinced to take care of it for a discount on the product. She, she's just like, oh, I don't know anything about any scarecrows. 
Other than that somebody's been attacking the other farm. But not yours. Curious. We just hope they're not coming for us next. Where do you suppose they're coming from? Oh, I have no idea. Everybody make an insight check. Yeah. 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 Fixing to do that. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, don't know shit! Okay. All right. Please don't stick your butt in my water. She's gonna. I've got an 18. 18. That is a 17. Okay, so the only people who can tell that she's a complete fucking liar are Daph and Link. I, Daffy, seem odd to you. Um, you two make an intimidation check. Oh, shit. They're too small. Okay. I got drunk off that garbage rosé. <laughs> That's another 18 for Daph. Ooh, uh, baby. That is, that's an 18 oh, for me. Link as well. Hey! Yeah, baby. <laughs> baby! Um, so. In the politest way possible. She. Link, like, crosses his arms, leans up over next to, da to Daphina. What were you going to say? <laughs> she, this like halfling. I mean, it's because you're a halfling, and that's a, yeah. we're of the same size. You're the same size. Le leaning up with a shield and one arm, a warhammer slung up, slung at his belt. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see her, like the color just drain from her face. Nothing. You don't know anything. And she's just, weird. She just finally just starts like blabbering, and like it just falls out. And she admits she's like, okay, I paid the scarecrows to attack. The, like, the you fucking what? Stout fellas. They're, <laughs> you paid them. They're, you, they're ruining my business. It's, you're all here in this too. I'm not having a stroke. And no, I heard that. you can tell like she's like, twisting one of the rings on her finger while she's telling you this. Like, what's up with that ring? She kind of like hesitates and like tucks her hand behind her back and is like, nothing. You tried lying to us once. And she kind of hesitates, and then Ad, like, she kind of pulls the ring off and hands it to you. And oh. it... What have we... I'm going to cast Identify? Oh, no, you don't even need to. Because as she hands it to you, it crumbles. Oh, what the fuck? I don't have that yet anyway. <laughs> it just crumbles into dust. Make a wish, Daffy. <laughs> 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 and she just kind of like looks down and is like it won't be a problem anymore really no where'd you get Wait, this ring from don't, don't have, have more silver rings on your fingers it's just the one she's just like pulling off her rings and none of the, none of the other ones do that guys <laughs> I just had to make sure. <laughs> you make a fine point, though, Fox. You make a fine point, though. How do we know there aren't more of those scarecrows where they came from? And where did you find them anyway? I, I paid them. You paid them? I commissioned somebody to make them. Who? I can't tell you. I don't know. You don't know who you Bullshit. paid. Bullshit. Bullshit. Quit lying. She doesn't. Like, she's just like, I just, I, I found someone in a dark alleyway. In the trade ward, and... Which one? Oh, what? Describe them. <laughs> which alley behind which store? Right, Raz. <laughs> it was just a human, and he... It, he worked for Manchun, that's all I know. For Manchun? And she just nods and like won't like just is kind of like cowering. I'd like to make a history check to see if I know who that is. Okay, go ahead. Because like yeah. she said that like we ought to know who that is. Everyone can make a history check if you want to. That. Might as well. For me is going to be a total of twenty. Okay. I cannot roll for so... tonight. You need to buy some some uh, some dice from our unnamed sponsor. <laughs> I mean, I have nice. I will name. I will name our un, our, our non sponsor. Yeah, they're not a sponsor, but we love their dice. It's uh, Arcana Vault. It came in like three days. Yeah. I ordered dice, and they were here in three days. And they're free. I ordered gorgeous. one yesterday, and they shipped today. Yeah, and they'll be there because yeah. they're coming from 
Pennsylvania, I think. I think they're yeah. coming from Philly. So, yeah. And it takes like two days. So, so Massachusetts, so I'll be here soon. What'd you get? Total of 20. Don't forget to get their Total of 20? <laughs> <laughs> this time. Jamie? I'm gonna order more once I uh, file my unemployment and get that extra 600 bucks. Wait, make a real advertisement. Throw up the link somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just plays across the screen. It just rolls across the screen. Um, no, so who all was making a history check on that one? Uh, Jaffe got a nine. Okay, so, you don't know shit, my dude. You don't know shit. Um, anybody else? I tried, but I got a three, so. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got a 16 on that. Okay, um, so Link and Raz know that, um, Manchun is, or was, like, the one of the founders of the, of the Zentarum. Um, and especially, and then Link would know that he was like, he was like evil to the core. Manchun's bad fucking business lady. Um, and he made enemies all over the Faerun. Um, like other powerful spellcasters were like, why would you go to him? Why? What did um, they do to you over there? They're, and she just is like, they're, they're taking over my, they're, they're taking over my... My monopoly, like this is my business. I don't think we'll be buying from you. I think. Let me confer with my associates. Associates. Mm -hmm. City watch, yes or no? Wait, what? Uh -huh. This woman has committed a basically a super <sighs> ter terrible crime. He set magical beings employed by Manchun, who is bad news, by the way. I'm aware. Right. What? Set them on a rival business? Come now. That's well, damaged the property. But she, like, told us it would never happen again, and she got rid of her device for controlling these. <clears throat> so I think everything's right. fine. Right. You make a fine point. You think we could leverage this into a discount? Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> no. I just we fucking choked, die. guys. Please don't die. Yeah, we need you alive. Somebody's gotta run this campaign. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't want to do it? No. <laughs> I don't want to run this guy. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. No, are you kidding me? But, yeah, she's we just like... Be leveraging this for some discount, and we can let them know that I will keep... My associates will keep an eye on her. I know oh, a guy. Yeah. Right. I know a guy, motherfucker. Right. No need for... Okay. Make, make an intimidation check, Raz. Okay. Daphina will give Nat the difference 20. to the poor. Nat 20! <laughs> she gives you half off. Baby. And like, off of the entire, like, she's only going to charge you half price on these, like, really awesome wines, actually. Right. Um, and is, like, for the entirety of the time that you're buying from her, and she's fucking terrified of you. Right. Now... Pleasure doing business with you. We're going to go report to our mutual friend Mary that her scarecrow problem is over. Oh, yeah. And that we yes. solved it, aren't we? Yes. Right. And as far as she knows, you two are still good friends. I suggest you make that a reality. Blossom's just like so like scared. She's just like, Right. Don't go in back alleys anymore. <laughs> They're for people like her. <laughs> Definitely talking about Raz. Yeah. Get more that water. Is my style. Right. Get more water. Sure. That sounds like a sounds like a great deal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Blossom. She's just like terrified, and she's like crying, like ugly crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, this is and, terrible. And, We're such a holes. And her, um, like the other halflings working in the the tap room are so confused. No worries, Portum. Gregor, what's his face? Valra. <laughs> Valra. But yeah, Blossom's just like ugly crying, just like I don't know, like. Is there really a need for that, guys? Like. 
<laughs> She's traumatized. She was risking people's lives. She had, to, she had to learn a lesson. <laughs> she can't just go summoning scarecrows to right. battle off her. If it, if it makes you feel any better, it did come up with a good result. Not just sort of like in a pragmatic sense where we save, you know, a shed load of money, but it's, it's, it's also good in sort of the societal sense, you know, where people aren't endangered by jealous idiots. Um, manchun has got one less power hold in the city. You didn't get a 20 on that, did you? Guys, so, don't look at me like that. Oh, okay. Another thing that Jordan... Yeah. Hey, guys. Another thing that Link would know about Manchun. Um, so the original Manchun is dead. But there are clones of him. Because he created clones because he had so many people trying to kill him. Um, but everybody, th everybody thinks that the clones all died when the original Manchun died. Wait a minute. They're all supposed to be dead. Oh, shite. We missed... They missed some. They missed... Manchun's active in the city. Oh, this is very bad. We probably ought to tell the black staff about that. Get Force Grey on it. This isn't that going to be us if we do her mission? I uh, am... Um, not yet. <sighs> It better not be us. We're not capable of dealing with something that big. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm brave. I'm capable. I'm not feckin' stupid. <laughs> where's, big, where's our biggie? We need our biggie! <laughs> we need... <laughs> if that's the case, we're gonna have to go talk to Bodhi. Um, so are you guys going back to talk to Mary? Are you going back to the city to go yeah, look for Maxine? Yeah, another hour walk to go tell this lady she's got no scarecrows to worry about. Right, and maybe, maybe she'll be grateful. Another line for you? I think maybe so. You can just like you can't. Okay. We're not gonna intimidate her. No. No. We're just going to you know seek a rightful reward. Yeah. The reward is that everything is fine. Nothing's wrong now. It's okay. Daffy's the soft yes, adventurer. If that's the only reward that we're given. That's fine. That's fine. We just want to give her an just opportunity. Just give her an opportunity to be grateful. Either way, the, the scarecrow problem is dealt with. Exactly. Right. It's just, it's just good business. It's free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> it's free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys go trekking down the road another hour, the sun is starting to like crest in the sky or actually actually it's like starting to get low in the sky because by this point it's like four o'clock in the afternoon or so i mean it's still obviously pretty bright because it's the summer but um mary <laughs> mary is in her um is counting, he's like balancing the books in her office when you get there. Great. And then, the, then that scarecrow ring just destroyed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Mary's just like in awe. And um, this Molly Weasley looking bitch gives you a barrel of wine. And a straw. A barrel You're of stout fellow reserve. Is, I... It's fine wine, and it's worth 60 gold. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, we'd, we'd love to discuss a partnership in the future. We're opening a tavern, you see. We'll sample this and, and let you know what we think. And Mary tells you that she would be more than willing to work out a deal with you after you saved her farm. Most generous. She's a good nugget. Right. Link goes to leave, and like as he passes uh, Daphne, he goes, "See, we're not going to extort her." <laughs> How are we getting this thing back? Um, could we borrow a card from you, perhaps? Maybe a horse. I I just don't want to ruin it, rolling it down the street, you know. <laughs> Mary gives you a horse and a cart, and he's just like, "Keep it." Keep it! 
need to name you, sir. <laughs> you need to name your horse. Fox, what do you think? Daffy, what do you think? Fox, Daffy, uh, uh, Razorin. Name it Mac. 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 Is Mac still in the chat? Wait, wait. See if Mac is still in the is still in the chat. Oh, Mac is still watching. Mac. <laughs> it's like naming. It's like naming our possum chief. Yeah. <laughs> right. So his name is Mac. Mac. Her name. Her name. Wait. Mac's not short for Maxine, is it? He asks the horse directly. No. Oh. No. Are you sh Are you an operative of the Harpers? <laughs> make You know what? You know what? Make a survival check. Oh no, is he going to get kicked oh. in the head by It ain't good. It ain't good. <laughs> it ain't good. Oh, no. It ain't good, guys. It's bad. It's a 6. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea where sh where this horse is or anything. <laughs> Are you are you an agent of the Harpers? The I understand if you can't speak now. The horse just like leans up and like nibbles your nose like a horse does, or leans down, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Not really. There's nothing wrong with the Harpers. Not as far as I know. Nobody has the urchin background, right? What? Nobody has the urchin background, right? No. Now, urchin background is super good for this campaign because it means you can move through the city at double normal speed. And Link is the only one familiar with Waterdeep, correct? But yes. Link grew up there? Yeah. yeah. You're the only one that's gonna be able to find her. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Or you can spend an entire day wandering around the city because of two. I mean. <laughs> what do you say we get back toward... Who was it that gave you this job? In the, the Emerald Enclave? Yeah. Right. Specifically. Melanor. Let's let's go see Melanor then. Report the success because I think this is a win. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we definitely did it. A plus guys. <laughs> right? Well clip plop then Mac, let's go. Sorry, I had to cough. Now we'll be right back. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll just wait? Yeah. No, you're good. Okay. Um, so y'all go wandering back towards the Fulconomir. And um he gives you and um you meet what's his face? Um our dear friend. Melaner. Melaner. Um Oh, that's the wrong one. There it is. Sorry, I had to find the right paperwork. Um, so, you all get back. And Melaner it has, like, food and drink for all of you and for your new horse. Um, and you are all happy beans. And you're fat and happy. <laughs> And you got fed and all that, and um, I had so much wine. <laughs> Daff and Fox, <laughs> you, know, you both yeah. gain a level of renown in the Emerald Enclave. Ooh, yeah. So I will let you know what all of that means. Um, I'll Indeed. post that. Um, So you basically um do, 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 You can now like um participate in um like faction activities and you can earn renown and you receive all of your like insignias and stuff. So you got you already got your stuff. 
Um, but you guys have your, um, uh, da -da -da -da. your charm of restoration, um, and you're like, you're the membership to the Emerald Enclave. Yay! But only Daph and Fox, because you're the only two that were invited to join the Emerald Enclave. Good? Yeah. Okay. You're just fat and happy. You got fed at the economy. Oh, ah, those, uh, those druids, they make great food. It's all vegetarian. I just didn't even miss the meat. <laughs> all right, so now what's your plan? We've got to get this somewhere safe. Um, what do you say we, we what, what do you say we all go and, and, and check on the locks on the place? You said it'd be a day or two, right? Yeah, fair enough. Oh uh, yeah, we should take the wine home and yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You probably seem a, a mite spiteful to take it and put it in uh anywhere near Cleona right now. She might Mac, yes. She might get yeah. mad. <laughs> Might be might be a, a bit cross with us. Yeah, that. <laughs> we turn up with a barrel of fine wine after. Or last night. Or we give it to her. I was gonna say we offer it to her as a peace offering. Now there's an idea. Put it right. That's what do you work. think? Well, let's um. Before we do that, let's take a couple bottles out for ourselves. <laughs> Or we give the whole thing to her and um, have a couple glasses there. Right, she'll be able to tell. <laughs> I love Mac. <laughs> Nay in the chat. Nay in the chat. <laughs> um. So as you're walking through Waterdeep with your cart. Make me a survival check. You got it, Abe. Jess is proficient in survival. 15. 15? You know exactly where she is. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> is this just a nat 20 plus our thing? No, not you. Not you. Just, just Jordan. Just Jordan. Just Jordan. <laughs> oh. We're all over here. Like... <laughs> um, Sorry, guys. So... Given that I'm the one who grew up in the city, that's that's the role that got it for me. <laughs> but I want to give y'all a chance to know it first because I don't want it to just be the Link show. Wait, what? Go ahead and make a roll. Make a survival check, everybody. Well, I'm Nat twenty from Daph. Oh God, I got five. Ooh. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Wow. Well, our darling Daph knows Daph, exactly Daph. where this horse is. I don't really know how, but she does. Yeah, I, th um, I was thinking, you know, that she has animal speak. I don't know. So you find her. You you know exactly where she is. She's actually attached to a dray. This horse looks smarter than the rest of them. Circling the market. Um, so it's yeah. like a long glassed in carriage. So wait, first of all, first of all, you're gonna go back to Cleona's. Drop off that. Drop that off. Have a glass. Um, are you going, so it's, <laughs> it's later in the evening. So do you wanna go find Maxine tonight or do you want to do it tomorrow? What do you wanna do? Not just a horse, but a horse TM. Let's go, guys. We're already out, so we might as well just go. Right. Okay. We're being busy. Uh, Cleona, Cleona, we we have a bit of a peace offering. <laughs> Cleona just looks up from behind the bar where she's drawing things and goes, "What is it?" Just, just totally, just deadpan. It's right, right out here in this cart with our new favorite horse. She just kind of hesitates and. Sits the glass down and keeps her rag because she's like ready to like smack someone with it. 
And go walking outside, raises an eyebrow and goes, It's that cask, it's yours. Where's it from? That, that fellow. Right. Kind of just narrows her eyes and goes, Did you steal it? No. no. <laughs> it was a given. It was a given. It was a gift. It was a reward. Did it again? Crow probably took care. And she just sighs and then has one of her um, Mac! <laughs> um, Cleona just gets one of her half work like bouncers basically to carry the cask inside and is like, Are you and asks the party, Are you coming back tonight? Yes. <laughs> and she just sighs and nods and says, Your rooms will be waiting. Most appreciated. She definitely like so you know how like when you get inside a rat, the rooms anyway. So you know when you get like a rat wag rat wet rag and you twist it up and then like snap it at somebody? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. What No, Jay's not here. <laughs> Jay's not here, Mac. Um but yeah, so um uh, Cleona does that, and like, <laughs> Raz, make a deck save. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, is that a twenty? Yeah, it's a d d twenty, and then your um save modifier. Hey. Okay. God damn it! It's nineteen plus whatever. Yeah. So, uh, Cleona goes to try to like hit you with it, and just barely misses you, and like you hear it smack. But it's plus five, okay. by the way. But you hear it, like, snap in the air, like, like almost like a whip, and it, because it was, it was damp. Um, yeah. But it's a, it's pretty amusing. <laughs> and then Cleona what goes back in the What you trying to do, Cleona? Cleona just rolls her eyes and goes back in the house, goes back in the bar. Uh-huh. Raz, I don't want you to go getting any ideas. Uh, Cleona doesn't seem to be that open. <laughs> she tried to whip me. She was just messing around. Like it wasn't like a bad thing. She was just being a fucking I mean, you know. troll. <laughs> well, it's not a bad thing at all. Um. Okay, so our dear staff can lead the party through the town to the market by whatever magic she discovered where this horse was. Right. <laughs> so you said you saw a particularly smart horse, bless you. A, a particularly smart horse on the way back into town. Uh, well, I suppose we could check the depot in the market. Um, as you walk into the market, as the party all walks in to the market, you see a dray um, being pulled by um, a, a horse. Um, a dray is a towering vehicle of unique design found only in Waterdeep. Um, it's a long glassed in carriage with bench seating on its roof. Um, you see someone driving the vehicle. Um, and then at the back, there's another man. Um, they're both humans. Um, they're, they're pretty, I mean, the driver's a little, is pretty young. Um, and the guy at the back's a little bit older. Um. But the dray is just moving, so you can follow them, you can do whatever you want. Suppose we could chase it down. Which direction is it going? Uh, west. It's going west from the market? Yeah. So the market, uh, by the way, is this large area here in the middle of the screen in that purple ward, in the castle ward there. It's going, like, northwest, up towards the, um... So it's headed toward the sea ward? Yeah. But he, he mean, no, it's not like booking it, but he's moving. Okay. The, the Dre's kind of moving. Hey. Oh, hey there, you! The Dre! Um, Marcus, the guy at the back, hears you. And. Marcus, he, is that you? <laughs> he waves down, he kind of stops his brother, um, Morgan, and the whole um, Dre, like, slows down. I'm glad we didn't have to chase him. <laughs> That would have been a whole hassle. <laughs> um, so, 
do you want to get do you want to get a ride? Do you want to try to like distract them? What do you want to do, guys? Well, let's see. What y'all think? Um, hmm. Well, we have to talk to the horse. Yeah. There are a few horses. It's not just this one. But we know specifically oh. that it is a honey-colored mare, right? Yeah. Is so you know, Mert I said. mean, you know exactly which horse it is. You can tell based on like what you've been told. Um, but there are other horses like attached to the dray. So like. Do they all talk? No. Um. Can Daffy transform into a mouse and like run in front of the carriage? <laughs> um. Is that something you want to do? <laughs> Just scurry across in front of the carriage. See which horse goes, holy shit! <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do, um, you can try it. Um, alright. We're gonna do that. Do I need to roll? <laughs> um, so, you're gonna, use, gonna wild, use wild shape. You're gonna use wild right. shape. Um, go ahead and Can make a dex. No, make a dex save. Okay. At disadvantage because you're so small, you're trying to like you're trying to get across. <laughs> so you're trying to get across quickly, but I mean, there's like a line of th- these are each like lines of three horses. Got it. And you're trying to get across in front of them without getting stepped on. I love it. I love I it don't, so much. I'm scared. table for you if you're looking for something. I was going to look up the stats for a mouse. <laughs> it's because of the disadvantage. You don't want to know what Pretty sure a mouse has one HP. Yeah. Um, and depending on how much, damage. how much damage you want to do. Or... Uh... So for anyone who's out there thinking about running a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition get tabletop role playing game. Oh, I highly suggest that you buy the Dungeon Master's Screen Reincarnated. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of really wonderful tables in it for things like this. Okay, so as a, from a medical perspective, that would probably be the third level on the table. But I don't want to do that. Well, because of the way that Wild Shape works. One moment. We're going to mute. <laughs> he muted the shit out of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll be able to heal her a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, the wound, but so the way wild shape is, is it's like, because hmm. you use the research hit points and then turn back into a spell, or so I can fall unconscious, drop to zero, or die easy. Like it just. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, um, right. so you go to try to scurry across the yeah, I need to look at something. Um you go to try to scurry across the um the thing, the the road and you miss. Um you like don't time it correctly, and you get stepped on. <laughs> and not in like a fun way. No, this is this is <laughs> oh. you're getting trampled by like three horses. Um, oh, no. And so the way that Wild Shape works is because a mouse has one HP, you get hit by. So you immediately pop back into Daff. <laughs> out of your horse. Oh, Wait a so minute. Funny. Drow, no. You're not allowed to do that to me. I don't want to do this. This is going to suck. I'm so sorry. This is why Jordan's here. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That could have been a lot worse. Remember, you subtract the one from the, from yeah, the mouse form. That could have been a lot worse. So, so you take 11 bludgeoning damage. Oh, gosh. 
sees this disaster happen and knows it's Daffy. Um, and he's going to run up and lay on hands and not in a sort of like, uh, not sort a kinky of way. way. <laughs> um, Bro, what the knob? You didn't lay hands on me. Uh, <laughs> it's because he doesn't want to sleep with you. Uh, that's fair. So you... That's... <laughs> So how, uh... She's almost dead. Calm down. I'm gonna dump all ten points of lay on hands into, into the deck. Okay. It's like, like ten points back. Bloody and just... Ow. <laughs> you know, you've really got to stop doing that. We had to stop it somehow? Um, but yeah, so the Drake does stop. Good gods above. Um, and... Uh, Morgan jumps down from the dre and is so so co like concerned he's like i'm so sorry like i didn't see you like what what just happened is so confused and even his brother Daffy. marcus comes up there and they're both completely distracted from maxine brass find your horse um so you have you have enough um like Defensive. yeah you're good you know exactly which horse it is i'm sorry that dad had to go through that but guys the horse is right here it's fine um, don't do it <laughs> yeah, free, so. free. <laughs> So you're supposed to find out um, if she like knows of any Zen agents in hiding. Um, and you have a paper bird um, that you're supposed to write any details she gives you and then send it back to Mert. All right, so this is a mare, correct? Yes, and she has a violet flower behind her ear. Okay, Mrs. Horse. <laughs> so you can try you try talking to her and she just looks at you and like you can tell she's like looking you up and down, like how do I know I can trust you? But she doesn't I'm talk so to you. Trustworthy. But she doesn't talk to you. Because she can't tell, like she doesn't know how you know that she can like you don't she doesn't know. She just kinda like looks you literally like looks you up and down and then is then just like turns back to the front. How dare she? Tell her who sent you. Who sent me? Mert. Mert, the money lender. Mert sent you. Literally the Harpers. Um, and don't forget, you do have like the silver pen from uh, the silver pin from the Harpers, and like. So I just kind of like flash the underside of my collar where I had chucked the pen, and then like. <clears throat> Some from some people. Okay, um, and she like kind of glances over at where Morgan and Marcus are like freaking out over Daff and Link and all that. I can't believe you were this irresponsible. Uh, I, where's your license? <laughs> um, and Maxine <laughs> looks back at you and she has like... Could have killed her! Kind of like a husky, like soft voice. And she's just like, what can I help you with? I'm just... Looking for some Zen. Zentarum? That's how you pronounce The Zentarum? Yeah. Looking for the Zentarum. I was wondering if you've seen them anymore. Um, she tells you, um, I gave a ride to a sun elf and his half orc bodyguard. I gave a ride to a sun elf and his half elf bodyguard. Um, and she tells you that she picked them up at the corner of Net Street and Dock Street. And drop them off at the yawning portal. Um, and they mentioned as they were getting off, they mentioned something about planting agents in the guild. 
Um, but, like, it was apparent they weren't talking about just, like, any guild, like, the, Vin the Vintner's Guild or anything. They were talking about the guild. Like, the Xanathar Guild. And she's like, I, I think they were the agents you were, th you were talking about. I mean, really, you could have even broken a wheel. Don't even think of your own benefit. <laughs> careless, careless. You've really got to be more careful down there. A mouse in this city, in the street. Come now. That was foolish. Is there, um, Miss Maxine, is there anything else you can remember? Um, she tells you that the half-orc bodyguard, um, is a female. Um, she spends a lot of time at the awning portal. And she was, like, she had a pretty nasty black eye. Oh my god, is it Yara? Fox, you take care of her. I can't. I can't even look at her now. <laughs> like walks off. Um, is there anything else you can tell me? Um, she doesn't know anything else. But you can all. You can always go find Yagra and her. Uh, her boss. Hell yeah, we will. Or do whatever. It's up to you. But yeah, that's. She's like. I mean. They're constantly at the yawning portal if you have any other questions. Thank you very much, Miss Maxine. <laughs> She's just like, do you have any snacks? Oh, she she yeah, asks for snacks. Um, wait, let me see if I actually have any. She's like, Mac asking for pictures of doorknobs. She wants snacks. <laughs> you wouldn't get that reference, and I'm so sorry. I can infer a lot of things from reactions. <laughs> but the rest of us understand that, and Jay would have understood that. <laughs> um, I love you, Mac! I mean, I have, like, I have, like, five rations, so I'm sure there would be, like, an apple in there somewhere. Someone would just give her an apple. Um, she was accepts her snacks. Like, I'm she accepts her snack. She likes her snack, and then she just, like, munches on her snack and goes goes back to... Like, just acting like a normal and, horse. And then, uh, Rasmus <laughs> bounce, bounce over to bounce, 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 bounce over to Link and yeah, a good number of people. Put her hands on their shoulders and say, well, well, I think that's all cleared up here. Why don't we go for a drink at the Yawning Portal? We have business to attend to there. Morgan is just like profusely apologizing to Daph. Don't, <laughs> Don't worry about it, but. I'm not worried about them. Watch. I shouldn't have been so stupid and careless and reckless. That's what happened. I can't. <laughs> just say, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Nadia, you're gonna tear up the carpet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, she's literally <laughs> pulling the carpet off. <laughs> Heathen. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen her out from under the chair, like, all day. Um, but yeah, so you guys go to the yawning portal, and you, um, you get there, and it's a little bit, like, the sun's going down by this point. Um, and you walk in, and you see Yagra, um, and her, um, like, some, and her, she's sitting in, like, a dark corner with this sun elf. Um, and Yar Yager gets up to go get a drink from the bar and leaves this this guy alone. Um, everybody make a... Let's make an insight check. <laughs> a big ol' nothing. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see what we do here. That's, a, that's, that's an eight. An eight? Big ol' eight. So what'd you say it was, Alicia? Sixteen. Sixteen? Alright. Raz and no shit. Fox, baby. Five. Okay. Okay. Daph, my love. Why is this? You you can tell that this is um obviously the sun elf that Maxine was talking about because I'm because Raz told you I'm assuming Raz told you all the things. Yeah, yeah I'm on the walk there. Okay. All the things. All the things. Everything. Um, all about and she patted her head. That's cute. Um, 
but his name is Dabble Starsong. And he's um, a Zen agent, but he's just like having a drink and like kind of looking around a little shady. Shady little bitch. So what do you want to <laughs> do, guys? <sighs> okay, can we pause for just a second? Because what exactly was the mission? It was to talk to the horse and get information? It was talk to the horse and get the information. There's drool all over this. That's probably from her. Yeah. Um, it was to get information. Um, and you can talk to the guys if you want or not. Um, and then send the information back to Mert using the paper bird. I don't want to like smear the ink. Did he specify what information we were looking for? You were looking for the Zen agents um, and where, like, where they were. Alright, so we found them. So technically all we would have to do was name the agents where they hang out and send that back. Right, no need to get directly involved, I suppose. We don't know what they're even looking for exactly. That's right. Right. It would be difficult. It's up to you. Because on the one hand, they could be trying to do something undercover-ish, and if we go in there and rush and try to ask questions, we could blow whatever cover they might have. Smart. Alright. Smart. So I'm going to send the, the bird with information, but we can hang out for a couple of drinks and keep our eye on them and see if we overhear anything. There's no harm in that. You know, I'd really love to... Niagara, a drink is sort of an apology for what happened last time. And you could definitely do that and innocently ask her some questions. Certainly could. Any who'd want asked, anybody? Nothing specific. No? No. no. Great. <laughs> well, I'm going to continue petting this friendly cat showed up in the bar. <laughs> and... <laughs> Darnan, is this your cat? Darnan's like, yep. <laughs> just totally just like done just like yep that's mine very fluffy very kind she's like drooling on the book <laughs> very wet I told you guys she drools like a dog she's the worst <laughs> there's literal drool marks on this book now what are you doing what are you doing why do you destroy the property I love you I love you heathen heathen <laughs> look, look at her she's such a dork um, um but yeah, so um, after you send, so you're going to go ahead and send the bird to Mert? Is that your plan? Or are you going to talk to people? Well, uh, I'm going to send the bird. Okay. And then hang out. And then kind of eavesdrop. Okay. Um, so, Raz, because you are part of the Harpers. You gain one level of renown, um, and a, um, sorry, I'm stinky, um, a sun elf woman finds you a little while later that oh. evening, because you're hanging out at the awning portal, so she, um, is, like, 6'2", she's pretty tall, has like dark skin and red hair and golden eyes. Um, and she comes up to you and introduces herself as Romalia Haventree, but she looks at Raz and kind of smiles and goes, but you can call me Remy. Ooh. Hi. Um, you can call me Remy. And she kind of like flashes her, like the, um, like the, like her wrist. And on a bracelet is the Harper's pin. And she just, she just kind of leans down and tells you that, like, whispers in your ear that if you guys ever need a place to stay, um, like, for any reason, and then she kind of, like, pauses, like, any reason at all, oh. um, the doors to your, to her villa are always open. Villa? That's a little dangerous. Go ahead and make a history check, uh, everybody. Uh, would you, excuse me? Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't know shit. Nothing. You, got two. you cursed my dice with the stink touch. You got a two. I don't know what you're. Shit either. Like a three, like a three, 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 that's all you know. And she kind of just like <laughs> pats you, like pats you on the shoulder and then walks away to go get a drink and then leaves the bar. She leaves? She leaves the bar. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> what was her full name? Her name is Romalia Haventree, but she goes by Remy. If no one minds, I'm gonna step out for the night. How are you? Where are you going? You need, you need to get your love for potion there, Rad. That's... What? You make those. Love um, potion? No. no, we'll keep things all natural. <laughs> I've got remedies for that as well. <laughs> have it's you really? Like, this is it, Bob's and Claws. Bob's and Claws. We're gonna go have a conversation and see you uh, you know, really, I've, I've been meaning to get into uh, alchemy lately. Maybe you would show me how to make some of those. <laughs> Short people need love, too. Truly. <laughs> Maybe we could go by that nice apothecary shop and see if they've got the ingredients. The one in, uh... Yeah. Troll, Skull, Troll Skull Alley? Yeah, the one over by the tavern. Uh, what was that? What was that place? Uh, I cannot remember. I'm looking at it. You mean, uh, Corellan's Cor Cor Crown with, uh, Fala? Uh, what the? Fala? We're gonna go see Fala? With Fala? 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 <laughs> you can't see my eyebrows. There you go. <laughs> you get to tag her tail. Um, but Sorry. yeah. I keep looking off that way and playing with a laser pointer to distract my cat. So, um, you have your, you still have one mission left. Um. Gotta go up the side of the mountain to talk to the monk. Guys, we are knocking these missions out. This is crazy. Oh, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. wait for that mission for, like, when Modi is here. Right. Yeah. Well, while you're there. That little monk thing. While you're at the bar, or while you're at the awning portal. You hear a uh, very like grumpy old man, um, like loudly bitching about how about like fucking Volo buying my fucking bar and like grumbling under his breath, just, like just bitching and moaning about the fact that he got outbid for Troll Skull Manor. Right. I'm gonna go sit and look. Sit <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna go buy him a drink. <laughs> Alright. I'll be right back. Jernan? <laughs> Jernan's like, what? My friend, I'd really love to buy that fella a drink. What's he drinking? Um, he's drinking a... Oh, I don't have my keyboard. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> he's probably just drinking, like, a giant like giant like the biggest cheapest ale we could find yeah like, he just bought he just bought a bar yeah um, um excuse me friend can i join you for a moment and he's just kind of like whatever and just keeps fucking talking to talking to the guy right, what's crawled up your ass and uh he he tells you that he tried to buy the tavern in twelve skull alley right really but he got outbid by volo Oh, that's a shame. What an arsehole. And he actually bought a smaller building. Mm? Much less impressive. Oh, really? That's a shame. In Trollskull Alley. Right. And turned it into his own pub. Really? Which one where? I'd love to come visit. Froon's Brews. Froon's Brews. 
That's not your name, is it, Froon? <laughs> and he's just kind of an, an Emic Froon. Well, Emic Froon. Chugs the rest of his beer. I'm Link Ableton. Nice to meet you. What do you want, Ableton? To tell you you're fucked, we're opening the Troll Skull Manor. Feck off, I pissed in your beer. And <laughs> he's gonna fucking throw <laughs> that mug oh. at your head. He's gonna have to hit an AC of 18. Make a fucking deck save. No, he's attacking me with a thrown weapon. <laughs> an improvised thrown weapon, so he's gonna do it at disadvantage. <laughs> oh god. Let's see if this works. He's just pissed. That's a natural one. <laughs> he fucking throws it and hits Yagra with it. Yagra, this son of a bitch said you were ugly. <laughs> fucking tavern brawl. I tried to defend you. Come on, Fox, Raz, Daffy, let's go. <laughs> and you just see Yagra beating the shit out of this dude. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Three strings, play us out. <laughs> He's Pissed. Bodhi's gonna be sad they missed this. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's taking them so long? They're, they're, they're training. Training. They're training. Training at the bank, oh, I think. Still. Gotta get swole. As they left, as they left, they said something about, oh yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I really don't understand those fellas. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> are y'all heading back to, what, what's your plan? I think, I think it's time to head back, back to the Siren Song. Right. Quite probably. Raz is gonna go to the villa. Raz can go to the villa. Go get laid, baby girl. I... You know, I don't need a little potion. I like no. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> you didn't eat one of <clears throat> You know, Daffy, it would probably be pertinent to go back to the tavern, given that I just insulted the fellow owns a place across the way, and uh, make sure our locks are in in order. Can't do that. If you want to go. That'd be right. Nobody, Nobody should travel alone. Fox, too right. Fox? <laughs> well, well, if you two are going, I might as well join you. Right. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so you all head back. So you, so while Raz is off getting laid, doing the dirty, I'm just gonna let that happen because I'm not. Oh, woman. <laughs> <laughs> this big, like, Amazonian goddess. Biggie small, if you will. <laughs> that is that short? Um, the rest of you head up to Troll Skull Manor and find that the locks have indeed been replaced. And with a note on the door that says, we have the keys. Come get them when you're ready. And you can pay us when you're ready. Like, we already paid them. Oh, you already paid them? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, well, then just come get the keys when you're ready. Right, well, <laughs> over across the way then. Steam and Steel it is then. And you get into Steam and Steel. You go up and you knock on the door. And, um. Avi! Hello! Avi is the one that brings you the keys and tells you that um, Embrick did a wonderful job. On all the locks, but if you have any issues, please don't hesitate to let them know. Certainly. And he's in that. I mean, the locks are good, sturdy locks. Nobody's gonna get your house if you anything, don't put them in there. Anything unusual about the place, security-wise? Um, Avi tells you that like there's nothing weird that he could tell. Um, the pol like lift was cleaning and tr trying to clean um, with what he could. And while they were about, and he wasn't happy they were there at first until they were like, calm down, we're here to change the locks. Right, yeah, he's touchy. Um, and, yeah. But there were no, like, security issues that um, our dear friend could, could find. Right. I suppose we'll give Raz her keys tomorrow. 
<laughs> but yeah, so you have a house now with locks. With the drill locks. Right. You know, I'd love to see the progress on the uh, on the furniture. Would you like to go down, talk to our good friend down there at the at the carpenter shop? That nail. Yeah, <laughs> down there at the bent nail. Yeah, we'll talk to Sally. <laughs> Lindsay remembers things, or at least has it written down. I can write it down. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so great, guys. Um, but yeah, so Tally is, I mean, it's later in the evening, um, but he's like sitting in the front of the shop, just like, like on the porch outside of his shop, whittling. Of course he is. <laughs> and he tells you that he's like, oh, I've, I've been making some progress on all your chairs and stuff for the, the, the tap room. Um, but I, I don't work after dinner. Um, I spend that time with my family or... And then after we put the kids down, um, we just, uh, I, I sit out here and work on some personal stuff. Admirable sort of rhythm to the day. <laughs> Doing away as kids. Um. Chapter three. Yeah, right? I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to conflate player knowledge with character knowledge. I know. I'm just laughing. <laughs> no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, and he, uh, <clears throat> his wife comes out, and she's a half elf, and she is like carrying two cups of coffee, and comes out and, um, uh, la la la, can't talk. She comes out and like says hello um, and hands him a cup of coffee and then like walks back in the house. But like she hands him his cup of coffee and like kisses him on the forehead and you can tell they're just really cute together and just really happy. You know, Tally, I'd love to have that kind of life someday. I envy you. Daddy? <clears throat> He's not going to say that. <laughs> but that's what he means. Sorry, I am, I am out of it right now. Do we want to take a couple of minutes for, for a break? I mean, it's almost 10. How are we feeling, guys? Well, I have to pee. <laughs> Same. What do you say we take a 15-minute break? We'll wrap it up. Sounds good. good. Yeah? All right. Well, just because what I was thinking is, like, we can't really do the other mission without Jay here. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. Well, uh, thanks for sticking around. We're going to be back in 15 minutes for more D&D. So thank you for being with us. It's been a blast so far. Cannot wait to play more games in front of you. Welcome back, everybody. We're back from break. Hope you've been having a good one. Let's play some D&D. &D. Uh, I'm reading something. A big part of D&D &D is reading, and that's an important <laughs> thing to do. Because if you don't know what's going on and you're the dungeon master... <laughs> I forgot about that! <laughs> end up with a lot of moments like that where you sort of cackle evilly in front of your party members and make them worry a great deal. Hey, what did your what is your uh, what did your dice bag say? Uh, yeah, my dice bag here, which is one that I've had for years now, says "Beware the smiling dungeon master," and that's a real thing. So, uh, or the crying dungeon master. Uh huh. Yeah. But 
Um, <laughs> so y'all headed back to your, you uh, are at the bent nail right now. Right. Uh, talking to Tally, who's telling you about his family. But it is late enough in the evening that um, a lot of the shops are closing. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Well, we still don't have beds in this area. house isn't sleepable yet, so. I mean, we could sleep on the floor, but <laughs> that's not real comfortable. This is not my beautiful home. This is not my beautiful way. <laughs> um, so you guys can head back to Cleona's, you can go to the manor, you can say fuck it and not sleep. Oh, you know, I really don't feel like going back down. But that's what trays are for, right? Let's hail one. So if you hail a dray, that is four copper pieces a piece for a ride back down. Oh dear. I mean, we've got the coppers, haven't we? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I mean, you should have plenty of coppers. Yes. Right. How much was it? Four. Four. Okay. Excellent. Right. Oh! Big ol' shiver. Oh, there! A dre, like, it takes a couple of minutes, but a dre shows up and then, like, slows down, and the fair taker hops off the back. Yeah, right, sir. These nibs are yours. And... He takes cop and takes the nibs and just puts them in his little pocket and hands you back a ticket and then kind of helps everybody up onto the stairs because you know it's kind of tall. Any thanks, sir. <laughs> so he just kind of like helps hoist everybody up. <laughs> and uh, careful Raz, with that one, precious cargo. <laughs> Raz is off getting uh getting jiggy with it. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> so yeah, but uh, Fox and Daff and Link all take. Um, <laughs> I'm considering it. I considered that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you uh make it back to Cleona's and it's hopping. Like it's it's hopping. And Cleo and they're busy and Cleona like looks up and is like, Your rooms are ready when you are. <sighs> But then goes back to like making drinks and stuff. Hey, it's been a long day. Oh, it has. Might be ready now. No ish. Thanks. All right, and you have oh. the same room as before, and all your stuff is anything you left there is still there. So this one is a uh, is a bamboo and honey mask. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, Daph, what are you going to do? Well, okay. She's going to put her big girl pants on. Um, she's going to approach Link before he gets to his room. She's going to just politely offer to assist him with making, you know, a sleeping tea. Just to help him sleep better. Politely. Offer. Okay, but here's the thing. Yeah, I, I, as, I would like that. That'd be nice. As as your DM, I have a question. Answer. Are you doing the do? Are you doing the dirty tonight? No. Daphne's too sweet for that on the first night. <laughs> I'm absolutely seduced by the paladin there. I mean, he's not gonna. He's not going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, as your DM, I have to ask that question. As That's uncomfortable, fair. you could find out. As uncomfortable as it made me to ask that question, I had to ask that question. <laughs> is it, you know, Link's just sort of like thinking in his head, is it really that surprising that someone might be attracted to me? I just don't. <laughs> I just find it. We're I, just don't, I don't get it. All right, so uh, you two can go uh, make your sleepy time tea. Sleepy time tea. And then Daph doesn't leave his room. Because they drink the tea together and she falls asleep. Aww. Aww. 
Can I make a con yeah. save to see who falls asleep? A- can we make con saves to see who falls asleep first? Go for it. Go for it. Make a con save. That's a 19 for Alicia. A 19. Okay, Alicia. Eight. So you fall asleep first. So uh, before before sleep takes him, Link, make sure that uh, he. So they're sitting at like the like the little table in uh, in yeah. his room, and um, she she sort of falls asleep, <laughs> and uh, as she's falling asleep, Link leads her over to to his bed and puts her in there, covers her up, and then he uh, kicks back a chair against the wall and uh, and goes to sleep. A precious paladin, <laughs> a precious paladin, man. <laughs> Before he goes to sleep. Hi, it's, uh, it's a good day. <laughs> um. So, 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 what's what's Miss Box gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna go get a drink from the bar, and then go do some dancing. Hey! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Right on. Will you pull up the the tavern? Yes, yeah. yeah. certainly will. <laughs> this probably would have made sense to like. Just put the monitor on my computer, but... Uh, probably. Um, Hold on just a second, and then I will uh, tell you what you get to drink. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this works, though. This actually really works. Okay. The way that that's described is hilarious. Um... <laughs> so... The, the drink that um, Cleona gives you, um, it is burnt orange, um, and it has small pieces of fruit in it, and there's like droplets of it just like running down the side of the glass, um, and it smells awful. Like, it smells awful. It scares you a little bit. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you drink it, and it tastes like, just like hot buttered rum. Oh, in like a really good way. Um, and then you go out to like dance, and while you're dancing, you just keep getting like flashes of like what you think might be hallucinations. Oh, um, okay. But like it's um, you need to look at something. Like you see like fire and um, you hear Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like you see fire and um, you, you're really con- like, confused um, because like you see people in um, like robes and like <laughs> sacrifices and it's just like these flashes so you're not really seeing things and you think you're just like hallucinating them. Bad trip. It's a bad trip, guys. Yeah. It's a bad trip. What did she get me? <laughs> yeah, so that's a uh, that's that's how your evening of dancing went. Oh gosh. And in like Welcome to the Electric Forest, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> in the in like the back of like in somewhere in the room, you hear somebody being like, You gave her my drink. I wanted my prophecy. Oh, my prophecy. A prophecy? Sorry, what? (laughs) But that's all you hear before you black out and hit the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh Oh, no. Oh no. Um. Oh no. And like the the uh one of the half orc um bouncers just carries you up to your room. So uh Everybody go ahead and roll a percentile dice for me. Scoop kitty. Um, okay. Which one? Using my own tricks against me. I got it. Okay. What? Is that the 10 and the 0? Yeah, that's the one at the very end. Okay, so a 3, a 30. 85. 85. And what did you get, Raz? 34. Okay, 
So we're going to start with Link, who has a pretty pleasant dream that night. Oh, shit. Um, he, I mean, it's not like the best dream he's ever had in his entire life, but like, it's not a bad dream. It's up there. Solid B. It's like, it's like a solid good dream. Like, it's his dream where he has a family and like, he has everything he's ever wanted, but like, there's still, like, he, he knows it's a dream. For now. <laughs> For now. Um, so then, what did Daffy get? 30. 30. Okay, so then we'll go to Raz. Um, Raz has a nightmare. Um, and all, like, she's, like, running from something, and there's like, things chasing her, and she's, like, stumbling over, like, tree branches and all this stuff, but, like, she's just running, and she wakes up, like, in a cold sweat and just, like, gasping. Right. Now, Daffy, our dear Daffy, Daffy has more of a flashback than a dream, um, but it comes in, like, it's blurry and it's kind of confusing, um, but all she knows is she's, like, sore and has bruises, um, and... There's blood. There's a lot of blood, but she doesn't know, like, where it's from. <laughs> um, and then suddenly she's standing at the top of a cliff. And it's, like, the wind's blowing, and she's just so confused. And then she wakes up, like, sits straight up and whispers a name. Now, Fox, my darling, darling Fox. You guys are having a bad time. <laughs> having a really bad time. Um, and partially, you can blame that on the drink because Shit. <laughs> I just saw that roll. Yeah, it's a three. Oof. Yeah. So your your dream is uh, Fox's dream is basically the same bad trip that the drink was giving her. But, like, times a thousand. Like, you can feel everything, like, when you're, when, like, you're in, when you see fire, you can feel your skin burning. Um, you, like, um, when you're, like, you feel absolutely terrified when you see the people in the, like, um, robes and, like, masks and stuff. Um. And you can, you feel like someone's stabbing you when they're sacrificing something. So, um, do me a favor. Roll a d4 for me. It's gonna be bad. Fox. <laughs> so I'm not having good rolls tonight. Yep, one. You take one psychic damage. Okay. This is a long rest, isn't it? Yes, but it is a long rest. So everybody... Um, except for Fox is back to full health and everything and back to all their spell slots and everything. Um, except for Fox. Fox wakes up with one um, less hit point. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what you wake up to. That, and I think Link's the only one who actually had a decent dream last night. I, you know, I had such a nice dream. Then I woke up to one. Hmm. <laughs> For Daph sitting up in bed just like... <laughs> so, uh, tell me how everyone's gonna react to those dreams that they had. Daph is like hyperventilating and like, okay, wait, would Blink have heard the name though? That's true. Can, oh. I, make a, can I make a perce like, like my passive perception maybe? What's your passive perception? Well, you were asleep. You yeah. can make a perception check at disadvantage. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that, sure. And then do I just DM the link, the name to link? Because um, not everybody's in the room. Um, that would make sense. You, yeah. I mean, she whispered it, so I mean, if you. 
Would you have said it was moderate, hard, it was, uh, or it was, or difficult, or like impossible? It was hard, so I wouldn't. Okay. No, you didn't hear it. Yeah. Um, he didn't hear it. However, okay, so she's just like panicked and freaking out, and just like obviously very shaken up, like not her usual bubbly self, like. Lauren didn't. No, we, yes. What's wrong? What's happened? He like kicks himself out of the chair and like goes to the bed. What's 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 going on? You all right? Um, I think I need a moment alone. To just leave his room. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. He sits down on the bed and just like runs his hand through his hair. And... Sure. Yeah. And she'll go down to the bar, and instead of eating breakfast, she's going to immediately ask for a drink, which Daph doesn't normally drink that much, so... <laughs> Cleona can tell that you're, like, fucked up, so she just gives you straight tequila. <laughs> hey. I will just have an orange this morning. Just, just an orange? <laughs> a bit conflicted. Don't know what happened there. I don't... <laughs> Not sure. I'm confused. <laughs> He's gonna have, have an orange and like just sit at the table like next to the bar, like side on to uh to where to where Daphne's sitting and just kinda like not keep an eye on her. Oh I gotta you know? Yeah, that thing. Don't like sugar, please. It's okay. I think I have some lemons in the refrigerator. I will straight eat a lemon. I, th I meant oranges, but I do have oh. lemons. Oh. <laughs> um, that is not good for your teeth. It's not. Raz, how do you how do you cope with your dream, and what do you do the next morning after you... Uh, actually, roll a performance check for me. Oh. Make a performance check for me. We gotta see how you did. Um. Woo, girl! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Play this where's the very man lives on. So it was a good night until this bitch fell asleep. Hold on. <laughs> Why do you keep feeling like that? Just hold on. Because this is the song we're going with. Oh, oh no. Uh, we're going to skip all of this oh, bullshit okay. intro. Here it is. Thanks to copyright law, that's about all we can play. Uh, <laughs> but that's, that is what, um, basically shit. What? what? We've had desktop audio muted. Guys, I am so sorry. Oh, fuck. We just missed a lot of stuff from, uh, from our other players because I am bad at this program. Oh, fuck. Good job. Um, so. The audio should have recorded on Discord, though. Correct? If it was running, yeah. Yeah. So, I've been recording on Zoom. So. Yeah, on Zoom. Okay, on Zoom. so sorry about that for everybody in the chat. Um, catch it later. Yeah, we'll we'll upload everything to. Uh, that's my fault. To we, YouTube and stuff once we get everything. Yeah, and that's up. that's been going for about twenty minutes. So. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So copyright uh, copyright claim avoided. Hopefully, I'm not just saying it. <laughs> Um, um yeah. Yeah. So quick recap on what just happened from the other side. Can we can we get a recap from everybody who was just involved? Yeah. So so hold on. So Alicia, what happened with with uh Daffy. with with Effie? Right. So she had a freaky nightmare of like bruises and blood and standing over a cliff staring down and then she woke up panting. Mind you all, she is in Link's room right now, in his bed. So she woke up panting, and she said a name. Link did not hear, therefore I do not have to give the name. Um, and he politely woke up and asked her what was wrong, and she just needed a moment alone and left to the bar to drink alone. Daffy does not drink, usually. Tequila! In social 
situations, but took a few shots of tequila there to calm down. And it was a li little drunk. <laughs> yeah, three foot two rock no drunk at like, what time is it? Like 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. Like 6 a.m. <laughs> and, right. uh, and we were just rolling for performance for uh, for Razorwind's night out on the on the villa. With uh, with a fun with, a with fun, Remy with Remy, which and ended up being a twenty. Which ended up being an unnatural twenty. Damn. That's a dirty twenty. It is. So uh, <laughs> as you walk, as basically as you like walking down the street, taking your like walk of non shame, walk of fame, walk of fame. <laughs> all you can like honestly, all people can hear like for some reason is let's get it on. Is that wow 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 wow? Of course. <laughs> And you're just like smug, and like there's hickeys and scratch marks everywhere. But unfortunately, the good feelings can't last because she had a terrible nightmare where she was she was running from something and stumbling over broken branches on the ground, twisted up roots and all that, and just going right through the woods, and she freaking woke up in a cold sweat, gasping for breath. And Completely, just like totally snuck out. <laughs> stealth check. Make a stealth check for that one. Oh. At disadvantage since you're flustered. Um. Okay. So it's not bad. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you still yeah even even flustered and like waking up like. Violently like that, you still don't wake Remy up as you sneak out. Thank you. But, um, so Raz makes her way. She knows that everyone was, um, at the tavern. So she made her way over there in the morning and with the choice between Gaffy yeah, sitting at the bar and Link sitting at a table, she hunkered herself down next to Daph and signaled for a drink. Tequila! <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so Double. do you wanna talk about what Link did? Um, well they heard that because the oh. Yeti was still going. Oh, true. Okay, so Fox. Tell us about your dream. Uh so Fox had a horrific nightmare. I still love the picture of this dog. Thing with fire. And she could feel herself being burned. And people in robes and masks. And stabbing. And sacrificing other things. So she wakes up sobbing. <laughs> and took damage from a dream. It's like straight up a mess. Okay. And she... Managed, manages to drag herself to take a shower, a cold shower, because she remembers the burning sensation and she's not, can't deal with heat right now. Valid. So she is sitting, sobbing in a cold shower. Just, she is wrecked. <laughs> And then she just goes back to her room and curls back up in bed because that was a lot to deal with. And she just can't do anything else right now. That's sad. Alright, so, um, I think on that note... I'm making the executive decision to leave everyone being sad and depressed and lonely. All right. Until next session. Gaffy and Raz get drunk together. Tequila We're shot. Really Durong. Cody comes falling through and be like, "Yay!" <laughs> Cody, uh, I'm gonna roll for Bodie. I'm just gonna see. Uh, let's see how Bodie. Let's see how Bodie dreamt last night. <laughs> 67. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a great dream, but it wasn't a bad dream. It was like better than, it was better than average. Just sort of garden variety dream. Yeah. 
<laughs> they did not have awful, horrible nightmares, but they also didn't have the life. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, it has been such a blast having you all here with us uh, to play some D and D. Uh, it looked like, look like Matt Mercer for a second. <laughs> our guest, Dungeon Master Matt Mercer. God, if Matt Mercer were DM for us, I'd fucking cry. <laughs> I would die. It'd be pretty <laughs> fun. Oh my god. He's a pretty cool dude. Matt Mercer, be my DM. <laughs> you know, I, I guarantee you he's got that filtered on his Twitter. Matt Mercer, be my DM? Yeah. Like, he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't get those messages. <laughs> but this um, is Twitch, not Twitter. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. Somebody um, send this to Matt. Yeah, somebody, somebody. Clip it that. and send it to Matt Mercer. So, um, on that note, it's been a great time. I'm so glad you were here. Let's, uh, let's do it again another time, yeah? Cool. Like bye, everybody. Next Monday. Not next Monday, but probably Tuesday. Yep. But bye, everybody. It's been great having you. Bye.